What up, ninjas? Okay. I normally don't have anything planned for you. <laughs> but tonight I have even less planned than normal. Um, so, um, I was hearing hearing uh, people say in chat that open panel, we need a place to talk. I'm all down for that. Um, so, here is the link. If the channel doesn't end up popping off, I'm not going to, um, then I'm going to go take a shower. That's what I'm going to do, because I haven't done that in a minute. What's up, Kevin Butler? Just, uh, Just rolled out of the Z show. I don't know what's up. What's up with you? Have we talked before? I don't know if we've talked before. Kevin Butler is one of, is a fairly uh, generic name, though. Harmon, my man. Hey, let me fix my audio. There we go. Better? Yep. Yep. Yeah, uh, they're making up right now. They're on. They're, just those two are left on the panel, M and Z. I thought it was really weird and like low key homo the way that he did that. Which one? I don't know. I Z. Mean, when, I mean, when the guy was talking to A. E. Matt and then. I think low. I mean, I don't think Z heard a thing he said because he was still boiling about him dishing him on the show, calling him that he's a waste of time doing everything he does and has no life. So uh, there was lots of stuff he said in the chat. And that's why Z just could get off that. I don't blame him. Yeah. Uh, I don't. It was I wild. I see this happen. Like, I put, I won't say a lot of effort, but I do put intentional effort. Rose, good to see you. Into What's it. Up? Oh man, just uh crawling out of the uh the war zone. Yeah, that's cool. I see Harmon's here where he belongs. Harmon, are you mad at me? No, not at all. You know what? I consider you a friend. She knew that before she asked. Right? No, because uh if you remember that George Strait movie he made a long time ago, someone impersonated him when he did a walkabout and he got mad at that guy and fired him, but his friend for a long time. Friends are entitled to mistakes or misjudgments sometimes. And that's the way I look at that. We're just stay friends. Friends are allowed mistakes. Okay. Rose so made, I did a mistake. made a mistake. Well, she said something. I said to her in private, I didn't say something like that. But it didn't matter. It was. It Rose, was did trivial. you hear that Harmon threatened me? Harmon threatened you? Yeah. He said, uh -oh. he said, don't push me, motherfucker, because he was talking about a cartoon from the 60s. And I told him it must not have been that big of a cartoon because I hadn't heard of it. He's like, it was big. Don't push me. What, it was what, Wally was Gator. Cartoon? You ever heard of Wally Gator? What? Wally Gator, the cartoon. No, have you heard of Wally Gator? Because it's not. <laughs> if you it, he he shared screen, you've seen this this cartoon, but um, I just thought it was a funny and absurd place for Harmon to like knuckle down. <laughs> yeah, that is. I, said, don't, I told him don't push me, but it was in jest. He knows it. Mm -hmm. You got it. You got to. Know, just take a stand for something. It's good to be passionate about something. Oh, the wow. fact of the matter is, is that Harmon would never say this shit to my face. He knows that I'd fuck him up. It doesn't matter if he's a giant and he <laughs> guarded Charlie Harman, Manson. Harman, I'm a dirtier fighter than him. He's a nicer guy than me. Sorry, go ahead. I'm with Jason right now, Harmon. Hey, Jason. Howdy. I um I wanted you to tell him about your experience with Charles Manson. Oh, tell, tell Jason? Yeah. Well, I was just guarding him in Corcoran from 89, 90, and 91. You can make it sound like a long time, but it was only a 15-month stretch. So, and uh, when he went up there, I talked to him, and uh, all he was worried about in 89 was that we're destroying the rainforest and going to destroy all the people. 
And the other thing he says, no matter what, he says, the, the, the man, he called the man, I don't think he was called God, I think whoever's in control, he'd always say, they always want Whitey and Blackie to fight. He says, they always want to race for. He says, that's the ultimate goal is they want to race for. Don't ever forget that. He'd always say that every time. So those seem like uh, strangely altruistic concerns for him to have if he is what he's supposed to be. Right. Yeah, so, you know, how are you supposed to be? So that was his conversation most of the time, just the rainforest. Because at the time, Sting, the, the musician, you know, Sting from Police. You're the one who was, made the stalker song? <laughs> yeah, he's uh, he's the one uh, that was really big into the rainforest at the same time, too. So he was into that. So that's all little Charlie did. He was only like five foot two at the most, five foot three, maybe. Little guy. Wow, that's really short. That's like how tall I would be if I was standing up. Oh, so how old were you, Harmon? When when I was guarding him? Yeah. Uh, I was born in 59 and that was 80, that was 89 and 90. So what's 30, 31? Oh, so it was way after the fact. And did you have any sense of like fear or anything? Like he was a dangerous person or do you think it's possible that he was like the fall guy or an actor who because like maybe he was crazy and like did too much LSD, like he somehow like made a deal to just go away forever in exchange for this social engineering. For my event. simple thing he was doing, he would put on, like when Geraldo would take him out, they poked him like a monkey, you know, they kept poking him and they want a reaction. It's no good if you don't get a reaction. And it's sell. I think that awful. interview, yeah, huh? it, was, it, was, it was garbage. It was like bull baiting or something. Right. And so he's, but you gotta remember the only person he touches is guards. He's in walk alone status. He's in always isolated. And so the only time is like when we handcuff him, take him to yard, put it out, or else he has no human contact. So here he is getting in the interview room with Geraldo, just baiting him, trying to get him to react. Yeah, he's going to react. You know, but I, as a feeling, no, there's a few inmates in there. You'd walk by and you could feel this dark aura. I mean, you could just feel it. And I didn't get that from him. I'm not saying he wasn't bad or nothing. I'm just saying I didn't get the same feelings I did to these serial, serial rapists and killers. Did you get an autograph? I wanted to. God, I wanted to. But my freaking police mentality, that would show him respect. God, I wish I could have gone back to 89. I was in jail with somebody who was in his fan club. I didn't, I mean, that that was where I learned about it. I thought it was kind of a cringy edgelord thing to be in the fan club of of Charlie Manson. But yeah, you should have got that. that's kind of a story, too. He never got... All the stories about the mail he'd get and all that stuff. He had one of the cleanest cells. He'd keep two or three newspapers. All the other lifers, their cells were packed with crap. So he just had to always keep it super clean. And um, he didn't have all this stuff that was you he, all hear on TV and stuff. Was he allowed to have a lot of things in solitary? or? Well, in a lifer situation, you do. You're allowed, you're, he was allowed to have a, a TV. Um, he was allowed to have newspapers, of course. Um uh, I don't know if they, at the end if they took the TVs away from Max Super Max or not. They might have. So I they, can't those things cost so them. much money for the inmates. I bet they didn't take them away. That's possible. But that. But anyway, that was him. I didn't get the evil feelings, Rose. I did not get the evil feelings from him. That that's is so one. interesting, and that's exactly what I would have thought because I don't get evil feelings from him either. So I think he might just be Who's, an actor. Like, so what like serial, what's, crazy. Rose, what serial killer do you get? I, like, I don't know how the, the, how your vibe check works like through media. Who do you get evil feelings from? That's somebody that we'd recognize. You know, gosh, I guess I've never really gotten that evil of a feeling except from a couple of interrogation videos that I've watched of just like random people who did really violent things and they just seem. The one I got was John Wayne, John Wayne Gacy, just reading his story and said, just evil vibes, the killer clown. I don't know much about him. Oh, he's... But I'll just have to like, I'll just have to like wait until I find something good and then save it until I can link it to you in a back chat because I, I can't have sensitive but it wasn't anyone too famous and hey, so how did, how did I want to know how did how did uh, his uh play or something go the one he had a girlfriend in and he had to do the love scene with how'd that turn out uh, <laughs> you're trying to start a fight how did that play turn out 
What play? The, Jason was in. He's supposed to be doing some kind of play or no, or no, actor. no, he's going to be. What is it? It's the movie or a TV show? It's okay. It's a television show that his friend Rip is writing. Now, Rip, he does practical effects for all kinds of Netflix and everything Jason Hollywood independent. Yeah, he does special effects and makes props and things like that. Yeah, and if at his house, his house is also his studio where there's so many cool looking things that it really takes you back and makes you feel like you're in the 80s because now you're just so used to seeing like CGI and stuff. But he's a big horror fan basically. And he's kind of like, correct me if I'm wrong, Jason, but I feel like he's part of the subculture in New oh, Orleans. That's old school goth. Yeah, he's an old school goth, like someone who's like, <laughs> like vampire parties and stuff. And so he is really creative. And so I already explained that he's into gore and that he's like in that goth group. So what Jason perceived as horror, he felt as Rip was telling him more details. It's like, are you sure this isn't a comedy? But I'm like really tapped into like, you know, old horror movies. And it isn't. Oh, you thought it was going to be a comedy, but he thought it was horrific. No, no, he, he wants to do a comedy, but he, he kept injecting so many elements of like supernatural stuff. I was like, are you sure this isn't a supernatural thriller? Not that I care, I'll do whatever you want. But <laughs> all these concepts that we're talking about were just like, we kept getting more and more like he wants a vampire character and then a mage character. And just all this stuff. And I'm like, and every idea I was coming out with sounded like it was supernatural thriller, but he still wants to keep the comedic element to it. So I don't know what this is going to turn out like. And so is there a, pr a production date? Is there a date that's to make air? Or some or date that's any kind of date. Wait, what? Like, no, any date okay, of production? Right, it's kind of loud here, but um, if I heard you right, there's no dates on anything yet. They're still brainstorming ideas and haven't even written it yet. Okay. We're ready to watch it, man. <laughs> I'll have to let you know, but did Jason tell them about the ghost aspect? Uh, well, initially, Rip asked me if I wanted to be a podcaster character who was kind of eccentric, a flat earther, and also that and just be kind of funny. And then he said, unless you want to be in it more, and then we can make your character more of a serious character. And I was like, yeah, I'll, I'll do it. This sounds like fun, actually. Well, that's if you need awesome. anybody to play the fr uh, frat boy douchebag, uh, I'm your guy. I got you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You are. He lasts about five minutes in the show before he gets killed. One of those. <laughs> they are the first ones to die, aren't they? Or the last <laughs> one. Uh, is, is Marie Laveau, is Marie Laveau going to be in it? I don't know. The voodoo witch? Marie Laveau. That's the big voodoo witch. In, in oh, no, I know. Um, Jason, wait, Jason, tell them about the ghost aspect of your character. Right. Well, so I kind of expanded on the character so that it's not so much just a, a guy who does live streaming and is kind of crazy into more of like a, par a paranormal investigator who also live streams and t discusses his stuff, almost like an art bell who goes out and does stuff. Mm hmm. And then I suggested, you know, if you want to make this really interesting, why don't we have a, a character that shows up in the background all the time that, the, that this character speaks to? He's actually a ghost, but we don't reveal that till later. To kind of oh, okay. So him. you won't see it at first, but you'll by, by the end of the show, you'll be seeing seeing him, right? Right. Like he wanted to tie that into like a for the second season where you find out this ghost was part of a, of a larger thing, and that's why he's in the house. So it, it was kind of like we were we spent about Season. eight hours together where we were just brainstorming ideas and started uh, solidifying all the all the different concepts. We were going back and forth. Now he's going mm -hmm. back with his other writer and going to go over the stuff that he and I went with. And then I'm going to get together with whoever's going to end up being uh, the main writers. And then we're all going to, I guess, just get it together. I, I've never done this before, but they've all done film stuff. So I'm kind of new to it all. Have you considered you having Rose take control of everything? <laughs> having what? Rose take control of everything. Why? <laughs> oh, is she, there's there's a trope yeah. over at Z's that she she's the puppet master and runs things, and uh, she didn't manage to get a wrench here. She is master controller. She got a wrench here immediately, like the day after she subbed, and also the same day that I said I'm not giving out any more wrenches. Then she's like, "Can I have a wrench?" I'm like. Yeah. I'm the wrench master manipulator. 
Yeah. But no, it's it's just a, a trope. I didn't I kind of just assumed you were on the inside joke. I don't know. I'm Taylor, by the way. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Um uh, oh Chuck. I think of to share about that uh, thing that you're asking about. But I very much look forward to being how to develop. Going on. Chuck okay, just man. gifted five memberships. When people give give memberships, I play the flyover, and it's a carpet bombing because it lights up the lurkers in the chat. And Shazzy just hit him again. I was telling Jason about that earlier, but I'm on my phone using Safari, and so I couldn't see that that's what that the, that's what the video was playing. And you, I think you played a video earlier, and I didn't get to see it either because it muted the sound. But Jason, oh, I don't. I don't think I did, but I got another flyover coming right now because Shazzy just uh, doubled down. Hey, hey, Rose, what'd you think of... Uh... Z show with uh, him and Stinky Cash going at it. I couldn't really pay attention. See, some whenever someone's yelling at each other, I pop into the chat for a second and then I leave and then I like wait twenty minutes and then see if they're still yelling. But I don't like listening to people yelling at each other. It's really boring. Very good. By the end, I couldn't tell if they were fighting or flirting. Right. Right. That's what yeah, you I have no idea. I almost was wondering if he was being like more over the top to like show off to the girl, but I didn't. I wasn't sure. But I, if he was trying to show off to the girl in some subconscious way, I <laughs> think it was a really bad choice and was cringy. I, I don't didn't understand why you got so mad. Don't you what? think that Z is is uh, socially savvy enough to know not to flirt like a fucking second grader? I, so that's what I'm saying is I don't know how much is him or how much is the how much is the um, we're about to be where we're going in a couple of seconds. But use the right lane to take exit one A onto West. Well, I um, I was sitting in the chat watching it before I got up there, going, "This is why there's a shortage of women on the fucking panel verse." Right. Sorry about that. Sorry about Nigel in the background. We call him Nigel. Oh. Yeah. All right, Jason. It was good talking to you, Jason. Thanks a lot. Yeah, cool. Yeah, it was great meeting you guys. Yeah. Yep. Right. Have a good night, my friends. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Right on. Yeah, she came on because remember that little joke I made on Z's? Tell a friend, telegraph, tell a rose. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's why. Uh, I was just teasing. Yeah, you. I don't like. And this happens a lot, I guess. It's not surprising, but people be talking, you know, like having little references and codes and shit that's like, I don't know. Yeah. So it was just fine. I just, she's got such a good heart. Any little thing, you know, it's like the little baby sparrow's hurt. and She will just she's, hurt well. she is very, a uh, very charisma. Is charisma the right word for a woman? Do women have charisma? Whatever she has, she she's has She's a it. charming person. How about that? I call her I call her Snow White. Rock and roll Snow White. Yes, you do. <laughs> she likes that. Well, I was um I told I told Angela to uh hit up uh to get in does she send you do you know Angela Baby Carson? No, I, I just do the chat. Okay. Yeah, she's uh I told her to holler out at uh the other is Stinky Cash. Stinky Cash is some, actually, I think Stinky Cash and I are both subscribed to each other and have been for some time, but I've never interacted with him until now. Um, and I never heard of Don before now, but I had questions for both of them. But I'm I'm sort of guessing neither of them probably had a lot of panel energy left. I don't know about him. I all I do is I just follow his channel, make comments every once in a while. Uh to him to that way. And I knew he was mad about the Dave thing a long time ago. And I can't Stinky remember. Cash? Yeah. I don't yeah. know Stinky Cash well enough to like really 
for my comment to matter much, but it sounds like he needs to be proactive about solving the problems he's observing. It's possible. He, uh, but he let it go. He hasn't, he hasn't brought it up. This was the first time it's brought up because we brought it up. No one talked about it for a long time. We could all be a little bit more like Ragamuffin Vision and just be positive everywhere. What up, Ragamuffin? No. What is up, Flow State? How are you doing, sir? I'm tired and dirty. Well, hey, much love, blessings, and encouragement, and motherfucking strength to your journey, sir. And to yours. Thank you, sir. Yeah, life has been life has been interesting lately, hasn't it? What do y'all think about that bridge collapse in Baltimore? You know, I have actually traversed across that in my times past in Baltimore. I last time I was in Baltimore was in uh, 2007. I was there for a music festival. It was called the Insubordination Records Fest. This was a pop punk records festival. It was basically individuals that identified as that on that type of like, you know, music genre, record label, what, what have you. I was there for a musical, you know, thing, Delio doing the thing. And I remember tra like traversing across that bridge and then this shit's happening right now. And I'm like, wow, that's wild. I've yeah. never been there, but, um, so I, I was on a different panel earlier today, uh, for a minute on my drive talking about it. And, um, the two questions seem to be, why did the whole bridge collapse? And why did the ship hit there? And I think that I've I've worked in uh, construction enough, and I have, I've actually constructed bridges. Uh, well, one bridge, a bridge. Um, but as far as a bridge integrity goes, if you smoke out the center pillar, um, certainly almost the whole bridge is going to fall. Yeah, that that did not seem suspicious at all to me. Um. Well, no. what you feel? What you feeling about the uh, eclipse? What you thinking about that? Like, I was actually kind of hoping that there would be a break so I could, on Z, so I could ask Dawn about, um, because she seems to know about the astrology shit, and I know that there's, I don't have any thoughts on it. I just okay. want somebody to explain uh, how and why this is making everybody go crazy. Well, I want to, I want to share something interesting for your listeners and for you, sir, and see what you think. All right, so I got to thinking about this whole thing. Right, it's the fourth. According to our calendar, it's the fourth month of, right? So it'd be 4-8, right? The fourth month of the calendar, according to our calendar. So 4-8, right? The eighth. And I, I started looking at this in the Strong's Concordance and Biblical Usage, and I found some interesting shit, right? So check this out. So 4-8 in Biblical Usage means to cleanse purely, like, like purely, right? So... And then I added the extra eight on because one of my friends was like, well, dude, it's 2024. So I had that on there. I was like, all right. So I added 488 and I got to God's law of reciprocity or reciprocating. So where'd you get the eight, eight, eight? Where'd you get the eight, eight from? You lost me right there. Well, the extra eight would be from the 2024. He and did Gematria on 2024. He added the, them all together into it. And yeah, the 2024 adds into it. And when you two look plus at that, two plus four. No. Exactly. So, so from the, from the jump of it, it looks like it's the cleanse purely. All right. So, okay. So the situation is to cleanse people pure, like, you know, from a pure standpoint of what maybe has been going on. Right. And then you had the extra eight and it's re like reciprocating. So I started thinking like, okay, the table's turning, right? Like the darkness has been doing whatever it's been doing. The world, the enemy, the, the this the that and i started thinking like this is god's comeuppance and i started feeling that that whatever this is it's like a sign it's a marker in time that things are changing righteousness is coming forth and regardless of the bullshit and that's like that's what i'm feeling so whatever this is it's it's a mile marker that to give us all encouragement those of us that have been standing in the gap those of us that are trying to be the best versions of ourselves for everybody and everyone for ourselves trying to be the best versions of ourselves trying to be better in this world right like those of us that are trying to do that i know you're trying to do that flow state i know that bro i see you i see you out here i see what you're trying to do you know what i'm saying like we're all trying to be the best versions of ourselves in spite of all the bullshit and i feel like good stuff is coming 
this is not a sign that fucked up shit is, a, is upon us, but rather than the powers that be or the powers that were, we're, over, we're, we're overtaking that. And that's what I feel. So, like, I'm encouraged. I'm encouraged by what's taking place in the landscape. You know, I'm working on music. I'm doing my thing. And I came around tonight. I saw y'all on here, and I was like, man, I just want to come love on some people, man. <laughs> um, you know what I'm saying? Like, just bop it out, you know? <laughs> I never thought I'd be happy to hear another man say he wanted to come love on me. Hell yeah, bro. Nah. Um, hey, hold up. You know, I need to get this clear. Is your first name Taylor? Uh, mm-hmm. It is. I, bro, yes. I'm glad to know that about you, man. I love you, bro. Like, like Taylor Swift. Just remember Taylor Swift. I mean, the, the Just like life. Taylor Swift. Yeah, hell yeah. Mm. Yeah. Or my uncle Taylor. And uh, actually, I think that she's... I live in Kansas City, too. I think, didn't she marry Kelsey or something? Did they, I, I, think I don't think they married or not. I think they're. she's moving here or some shit. I don't know. I don't pay attention to sports so, or celebrities. Or shit. I, I don't think the, the, the eclipse is anything. I think it's just another day. He's just in the cycle of the clock. You know? Yeah, it's, for, it's sure. Just repeats for sure. Itself. That's, it's nothing special. It, didn't go, it doesn't go through these towns mm-hmm. with these special names and everything like that. It's just... You could plant 18 years ago, you could say exactly where this eclipse was coming. It's not like out of natural. So it's just another that, day. That is definitely true, except that you got to add down now. Like, I respect that perspective, and that is amazing, and that's incredible, and the 100% on that. But you like, check it out. 1800, they had the same thing happen. They had a comet aligned with it at the same time. We do have a comet coming in with this. It is very possible that there may be some power outages with it. It's just something to note. But, yeah, fair enough. Like, I, I appreciate what you said. Like, yeah, you're 100% on that. And there's just some other things to note with this and what is going to come with this 100%. I don't know. I just feel good. I feel good coming. I feel like... I feel good people, coming, too. Yeah. <laughs> we got good shit coming, you know what I'm saying? Like, and that's what he it is, it. <laughs> Yeah. But, I, uh, I, yeah. I, I, I'm, I'm good with those. I'm... With the quick one-liners, people learn to hate it. Oh, yeah. Bro, don't you ever shut up with that shit? No. Hell, yeah. Bro, you know I got you, Flo. Um, Bro, I've gravitated towards you and your channel for a reason, bro. I appreciate you, man. And I know you keep it. You're doing trying to. There are very few people that I would rather have love on me. Ragmuffin, I don't understand this, though. Why? I mean, the last eclipse we had was in 17 or 18, whatever it was. So why are they? Uh, why is the mainstream making such a big deal out of it this time? That's what I well, wonder. That's a good question. And why is the federal government prepping the National Guard right now? Yeah, there's a lot of questions. There's a lot of like whys. But I just feel yeah. like the overarching point is that those of us that are doing the inner work, those of us that are trying to be the best versions of ourselves, that are really seeking God to be the best versions of ourselves, I believe, I believe that these times coming up upon us are good and we're not supposed to look upon these as, as bullshit like everything's changing all of us are becoming the real versions of ourselves and like life is coming uh, around we, full circle like that's what i feel you know what i'm saying yeah i mean i, I don't disagree i except i don't think that like and i'm interpreting this into the way that you phrase things so i could be off but change isn't new change is every guaranteed day. Oh yeah, one hundred percent. I just mean in regards to some of these different events that you're talking about the going. major feelings of the world turning yeah. positive and well, this negative stuff that's going on. Exactly, it transmuting the bullshit. I mean, you know, none of us are going to be absent from bullshit in our lives. Like part of that bullshit is to help us grow. You know what I'm saying? And, and oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So I don't. I don't believe. I don't. I actually don't even really properly believe in bullshit or wrong you know like earlier i don't know if you listened to talcott earlier talking about how things should be what we should i don't even believe in that should no it is what it is right it's right i think i think i think it is what it is and we need to uh, enjoy what it is instead of get stressed out over what we think things should be they're not it doesn't matter it's just our own imagination torturing us exactly Love is an action word. It's not a phrasing. And Mr. Talcott, though I, you know, I love him. I love him to death. But what would help him is to live it out as action and versus phrasing, because 
you can say it all day long, but when you give it out, when you do it, that's where the, that's where the change is. You know what I mean? We can, we can all say, I personify myself as this, this, or this, but it, love is an action word. It's an action. So each and every day, if we give out that love and we walk it out, show it out, you know what I'm saying? That's what it is. It ain't saying it, it's doing it. Right. So what can you do in every good given goddamn day? You can, get we should out be doing more love at people. Morning. That's right. Remember that yeah. tomorrow on the golf course, those drink cart girls, they need you to do love at them. Yeah. <laughs> the, the and then when you're done, you whisper in their ear, thank you. I just wanted talking. you to hear Flow State. I have missed your ass. And I yeah. that, like, bro, I love you and I appreciate you. And I just wanted you to hear me say that. I saw you on tonight and I was like, dude, I got to come on and give him some love and just be like, what up? <laughs> I'm glad you, know you did. Saying, it's, it's, keep, it's keeping me going through it. I actually Hell probably... Yeah. I was <coughs> sort of inclined not to stream, but, um, you know, who knows? Bro, I, I, live, every, I live every moment just like as it comes. I really oh, don't Oh, for it. sure. I got a suggestion for you and the wife. Here's a blessing for you. Go watch that new Bob Marley movie. I'm telling you, bro, smoke a little bit. Watch that new movie. You're going to be like phenomenally blessed by that. One let me, love is so phenomenal. Let me tell you two I things would. about me that will probably disappoint you or be sh shocking that? to people. One, I don't like weed. Okay, fair enough. Two, I don't like Bob Marley. <laughs> fair I enough. also don't like Tom Hanks. These are like the three things basically everybody can agree on liking that I don't like. Okay, fair enough. Well, let me ask well, you. Well, I, appre I, appreciate, I appreciate the suggestion. Um, it's just not going to hit with me. Hey, I'll ask you. I want to ask you a, no, 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 a flow no. question on a movie. These people in the last five days have been telling me to watch these Dune movies, the, the one from 2020 or 21, and the new one that came out. Have you guys watched either one of those? What I have it? not seen any of the uh, no Dune movies. I hear a lot of people like that's they deep in the nerd lore, right? There, the, the Dune shit is treated with reverence more than Star Wars is even. Um, but I've I never seen them. I don't know nothing about it, but man, it's last five days every. Place I go, they say you got to watch it. You got to watch it. Why? I don't get it. I, maybe I'll give Dune One a chance. You know, I don't know. There's something so supposedly to the whole Dune concept. I don't know what that is, but Taylor, I want to know what's your what's your disdain for the Marley thing? Like, what's your how? I'm I'm kind of surprised to hear about that. Like, what's what's up? That what's I up like. That? I like aggressive music. Okay, fair enough. Um, yeah, I'm I like mosh pits. Actually, fuck, I need to buy corn tickets now. Well, I think <laughs> you're going to tell him. Marley True. Marley was was a, a great human being and the stuff he did and try to get people together and stuff like that. I was in yeah. England when he died and had his funeral and over there in Jamaica when it was all coast to coast cars with his funeral. So it's oh, about wow. his words and his making peace and stuff like that. It was what was about Marley Thank besides you. his music. And that's what was that was that's probably what you're talking about. The movie is what the man was like. Indeed, indeed, and and the fact that he brought peace to Jamaica in spite of his like the attempts on his life and everything else. Right. And they, um, and yeah, that, and they got you know. they got. I still think he didn't die from gangrene from a broken ankle. One hundred percent. I think that you know they. I, it's been said that the CIA injected him with some shit when he was over in England, and that's very possible. That's what caused yeah. all that. Yeah, he's the first one. Uh, Flo, he got the two leaders, a black leader and a white leader. And then, I mean, there was this hate through all things. And he his whole my mission to give him a handshake. And he got them to do their handshake together and everything like that. And yeah. no one else could do it. I don't know how he did it. I don't know the whole story, but I know that's the, the superficial story. That's well, that's that's extremely well said. Listen, I'm at 7% battery, gentlemen. I'm going to go charge and I will jump back on. Flo said, I just wanted to, at the very least, at least tell you, you know, man, I love you, bro. I appreciate you. And, you know, like, we're all trying to move forward in this way, you know, like in this time and period and we need encouragement. And, you know, when I can give it out and I feel led to, I do. And bro, I love you. I appreciate you, bro. And I, I you know, I vibe that. towards what I vibe towards, you know what I'm saying? And I give out the accolades as I do. And so for what it's worth, bro, I see you. <laughs> I appreciate you, bro. And Thank you for coming up, Ragamuffin. Yes, you're, sir. You're always a weird, weird positive presence <laughs> i love that mm -hmm. <laughs> fuck yeah heck yeah uh, bro yeah. i got some music to share with you soon um i think you're gonna vibe off of it it's catchy it's it's interesting and oh, bob marley's greatest hits 
<laughs> no, no, it's not Bob Marley's greatest hits. It's ragamuffins. And I am exploring and imploring my vocal range and I'm doing some things, gentlemen. So, yeah. Well, uh, whenever those are ready, just pop up on panel and drop me links. For sure. For sure. All right. Well, I'm going to go charge the battery and I, are you going to be, you going to have your life for a bit? You know, who knows? I don't ever know. I didn't know I was going live <laughs> until I was making the live and um, probably won't be that long. I did a long ass stream last night and uh, okay, I'm pretty low energy, but who knows? You know, I, I'm bad at predicting the future. I just go with it as it comes. All right. Well, much love, enough respect, my brother. And to you. Yes, sir. What was Lindsay saying in the chat here, Flo, about uh, you showing uh, underboob? You're going to show your underboob? I'm trying. I'm trying to say that. Yeah, I'm trying. I'm working several angles here. I'm trying to get Lindsay to come up with underboob. I'm trying to uh, target Cynthia at her by saying the best way to get at Tarek is to get Lindsay up here with underboob, so that Tarek uh, freaks out because Cynthia's mad at Tarek. But uh, so far, Lindsay's doing. You know, Lindsay's kind of evasive. She's she's a uh, an elusive personality. I've been meaning for a long time to get an audio effect for when Lindsay leaves the panel because she leaves rapidly. <laughs> and I also need one for Chuck's rifle. Where is everybody tonight? I have no idea. Uh, I think that Z and what's his face are still uh, and Stinky Cash are still. No way. They, no way. Cynthia was just in the chat a minute ago saying that she's here and at Z's, so I think so. Let me see. Pull up Z. Nope. He's just doing Lindsay's value could drop like this. I could drop her like that, and she'll be out on the streets with O'Shea begging to go on black panels with him. Don't bite the hand that feeds you, Lindsay. Sorry, Harmon. I had to get tough with her sometimes. Lindsay knows the value of her commodity. <laughs> she tried to she tried to say that that alligator cartoon wasn't even real. Oh, yeah, and she says alligators are nice too, or crocodiles or whatever they are. Oh, Z's yeah. doing news. Z's doing news. I forget yeah. the Z. I don't ever stay around for the news. It's sort of his wind down thing, and I. Yeah, so I went over there. He's doing news. You know, can't spell Lou like t two weeks ago. Uh, made a mistake and she commented publicly that I need to go up on panels this weekend because I realized that I have lots of friends that don't even know me and so now I'm like prodding her but she's doing the introvert thing Who, who's that which one Lindsay well Lindsay does the introvert thing too but she uh, Lindsay sort of hits and runs she does panel hit and runs So who are you talking about the other person? So yeah, can't spell Lou. Can't spell oh. Lou is more like Lindsay hits your car parked on the street and dips out, right? That's that's Lindsay. Lou is like sitting across the street with binoculars, just sort of watching, sometimes commenting. Yeah, I like uh how uh, yesterday Joe Cool was getting on Don and Don. Don. He because he just repeats things over and over. He's not even listening and he got under her skin a little bit yesterday. Who was but it? Already, Joe Cool and Don. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's why I said when when he came to your panel last night, I was on, and I said, "Ah, oh, you finished raising all that trouble over there." Who's on? So, what's that guy's name? Dave, whatever his name's, Solvent State or something. Oh yeah, so, so I like him. Yeah, that's where that's where it was at. But I don't I don't enjoy his and Joe Cool's loop de loop shouting matches. I actually don't really enjoy the earth shaped debate at all. And I, I never have I, because it's a religion. It's a religion. I agree with you. That's why I say I don't talk it. I said I say one thing and I, I don't debate it. I said there is to me there is no debate. There's just what are you debating? There's nothing to debate. And people yes. just like to throw out these numbers and I'm well, going It's 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 one of those things that is, it's like the existence of God. I see these debate panels all the time. Is God real, right, on YouTube? Like, how, why would you have a debate over something that literally cannot be proven nor disproven? Um, 
End of story. No debate. This it's like debate. masturbating, but never coming. I always say that religious people always want to have validation on something you can't validate. I was and saying that yesterday on my stream that it's that religious people behave more like sports fans than they do like spiritual people. There you go. Like, they got their, no, little, just, lo their their logos, their slogans, their team, you know. Yeah. So yeah, I never do that. Where, I, want, I, I want Joe Cool or someone on here. Where are they at? Or Sasquatch. I thought he'd be here. I have no idea. I was I was out on a job and then I came back and went straight on the panel verse and I haven't looked around. Well, I went basically straight in. I haven't looked around. Uh, I woke up like three o'clock this morning and I looked on there. You were live with somebody. Who was that guy you were live yeah. with? Nachiketa. And what were you guys talking have about? You, have you not met him? Um, not really. God, we just talked about kind of all over. Notch, is, um, Notch doesn't like, you'd probably get along with him real well. He doesn't like uh, ratchet panel verse drama either. He wants to have more, you know, better discussions um so he doesn't come over a whole lot uh he used to a lot more but when uh you know i was closing down and then i didn't actually end up ending the stream when i thought i was going to and uh i guess he saw a gap and came up but we had a great talk and then he ended up streaming like the whole day today hi Lindsay. Hey. this is not the under boob that we were expecting <laughs> The hang even lower when I'm feeling like this. <laughs> You're supposed to be up here torturing Tarek and and making no. me and Harmon happy, but instead you're here with your old lady picture on. That's right. Old ladies have important things to say too. And I'm sorry I'm not um what's his name? Uh Sasquatch. You know, oh. I have the wrong the wrong gender going for me. He would probably I'd... show us more under boob than this. <laughs> I bet. <laughs> I bet. So what'd you well, do I'm today? On... What'd you do today? Ancient top secret. Yeah, you didn't. I handle a lot of family business. I'm involved in a in a probate case, which is a pain in the buns. That was the kind of law that I was interested in, and I think like, I would be crazy actually to. Shit? Pardon? Like like stuff locked up in a state. Yes. That's yes, be um, of law you found interesting. Wills, trusts, yes, but only because I was going at it from helping people, which is the wrong thing to do if you want to go into law, because you're not really interested in helping people as a true lawyer. You're interested. It's in really not a money. good way to advance your life. Uh, uh, well, I think so. Mm -hmm. I think the stuff she can find in probates and, and well, the okay. Let me rephrase that. <laughs> oh, yeah. There's no shortage of needy people. Everybody needs something. Oh, like, I was a loan officer for a lot of years. Do you know how people, many people come in needing fucking money <laughs> with sob stories? How funny. People coming to a bank needing money? Yeah. They don't have jobs. Yeah. Why would I? Why would, this isn't a charity. You need to go to a charity. If you don't have a job, you don't have collateral. If you're Brian O'Shea and you walk into my office and say, I need a loan. <laughs> Good luck. What are you doing here? He doesn't want money, though, right? He's supposedly very happy with very little. I was just using him as a reference point. People living no, I, in their car can't repay loans. What I, I wanted to yeah, ask, Lindsay, I get your point. Off, and in a state, have you ever, when you're selling, settling someone's estate or something, have you ever come across No, I am not a lawyer. I got, I dropped out no, of no. law school. I understand that, but you've been around the state, you said. If Paul can claim he's counsel, you can claim it, too. No, I'm saying, have you come across any, like, lamps or a cup or something that was real valuable that you could get your hands on to you know stuff like that in the states in property this, wise i could in this case yes i'm just um, saying not, I'm, I'm talking about legally you it's not oh, an auction she, she wasn't interested legally, in being an auctioneer <laughs> no but you come legally across yes state. legally yes but uh, it's something that well i probably shouldn't t say too much on here everything gets used i have to notary stamps okay. Oh, excellent. <laughs> I just say you must have some good stories about some properties and stuff. That would be all I'm saying. You must have seen some nice stuff. 
Oh, no, because um, I dropped out. I never got to practice, obviously. I'm so that's, what you're doing. That's, why I found you, that's why I found you in Fight Club. You're like extra working out that little lawyer bit as you left and you arguing with people. Mm. I guess that wasn't even the kind of law at all that you'd be interested in. No, I wasn't interested in criminal law at all. That was that was uh, the main uh, professor, if you will. But he wasn't really a professor. He was just kind of a he was a criminal lawyer himself, and he was teaching us. And one of the first things he said is, "I need you to learn how to to all of us to phrase things in certain ways." So right there, I was already, you know, my antenna were up. So, okay, so we're going to lie, basically, is what I you're think. That, that I don't think that's the right response to tactical communication. Uh, what are you talking about? Tactical. Why would you? He's he's teaching you how to communicate effectively to meet your goals. Yes. Presuming your goals are good, then he's doing a good thing by giving you the skills to communicate effectively. Correct. He's teaching you how to use synonyms and language to twist in certain ways for the benefit of the client. Language is a twist. It's impossible not to have. I'm not language. arguing with you. However, Come on. when you're when you're talking <laughs> at the moment, when you're talking about um, keeping a murderer or someone like that out of prison just by saying, you know what, Te there's a technicality in this law. He didn't kill the guy in the car. He killed the guy in the boat. The law says, you know, in Smith versus Jones, that technically the boat is not a vehicle. You know what I'm trying to say? Twisting things. Yeah. Twisting things. And, but and, that, there's a time and place. The time and place to do that is not when your words are responsible for putting somebody in prison for their entire life, whether or not they did it, or for, for out of prison. No, they actually no you need to have, hold on. Okay, finish your thought, and then I'll tell you why you're wrong. Mm-hmm. <laughs> You tell them where I went wrong. No, this is a personal opinion. This is not like know, a statement. <clears throat> it's, can... It went against my own sense of integrity. Because well, I think that's like... hu hubristic. It's hubristic to think that your role, if your role, if you're a criminal defense lawyer, right, you're part of a system that's supposed to solve out justice. You're not the judge and jury, so you have to have trust in your role as just a subsidiary part, and not go. You know what? I think I should tell it. I don't know. I completely agree, and it would be a matter of acting. And I like authenticity as, you know, that was in my personality chart that you and I discussed or whatever. I value authenticity. I, would, I find it important for whatever reason to be myself. And it felt like I was putting on the clothing of someone else just to please other people. Look, I'm making a lot of money. Look, I can be smart. Look, I can reason things Isn't out. Isn't that pleasing yourself? Yeah. You <laughs> one liner. <laughs> hey, Lindsay, I, I like that I can always trust on Har count on Harmon to like to laugh with me at my stupid sex liners. I like them. That's uh, exactly I why I wasn't. I didn't say I was interested in pleasing myself, and that didn't Lindsay. feel good. So this is well, one of you were doing years right. of being, sitting in the courts. <laughs> me and a guard, I had to go for twenty three years sitting in courts lots of times, and you hear yeah. these defense attorneys and the prosecutors. They'll be back there not thinking anything. They, I can listen to anything. I'm nobody, right? So they're talking. They don't care if you're innocent or guilty 90% of the time. All they no. want to know, do we have enough to get him? They don't care innocent or guilty. They don't. I, I, don't think for, I know that for sure. I have a lawyer, I mean, excuse me, a judge in the family. And the stories I've heard, I've told a few of you here, so I don't want to be redundant, but the stories I've heard pretty much go right side by side to what you just said. Exactly. So why would I want to send an innocent person or a possibly an innocent person be any part of sending them to prison? You could and always ruin innocent. their life and vice but versa, you, right? But you, but you can you know, you got enough evidence against him, even though he's innocent, to put him in jail, and you know he's not you know he's not guilty, but you but you can get him. I watched him do it. I, I watched him do yeah. it. I, I, the job is I, not. It's not to have integrity, not to be, not to have your own opinions. It's to be a robot. And, and and play like a game, which I can respect in a certain way too. No. Just doesn't align with my personality. To be you can respect a, it, you just can't do it. To, wow. 
No, you couldn't. No, you can't do it emotionally. You can't do it emotionally. I couldn't. I either. could do it, but I won't do it. Uh huh. That's what everybody says who can't do something. <laughs> don't let wow. him get you. Andy. Oh, don't play into it. You know he's kidding. I don't know. No, he's not. He's not kidding. Let's ask him. What? Are you kidding or not? Do you, think, do you think that I always know whether I'm kidding or not? You know that like gray area between sarcastic and serious where things are just confusing. That's you know that I'm area weird. where you I live there. To, you refuse to like take a stance on something and you're evasive because you don't want to give an answer that might come off in the wrong way or be perceived in the wrong way. Because you're asking me for an absolute response, an ab absolute opinion on something on a variable. Uh, but you, object. it came like, from you. You, you, are, you are not a variable. You are a, a, a person with solid opinions. Oh, and, and well, that's true. But everybody's, we all are. So who this would know how was, you feel better than you? If I asked Harmon how you feel, is he going to be more accurate than you? I feel like he would be better at, Harmon is my, is representing me now. Harmon, how do I feel? Um, he feels a little worn out from like a five and a half, six hours yesterday's streams. And he did a little if bit you, this afternoon. Then he went through a yelling match. So he's 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 really okay. thinking about ending the stream early. Do you think? Time. Do you okay. think that Lindsay is making me w more worn out with her interrogation questions? You said no. you wanted it. You said you wanted to to argue a little bit. I yeah, just that's interrogation. Could be wish for. That's that sounds like victim blaming right there. No, we could go at this for hours. She sounds like she's practicing, all she's methods. practicing if she was a lawyer, this is what she would talk like. Sasquatch, please come up here and, and you know hold your man's hand because he Flo loves you and adores you and you're funny. Please help us. So Joe Cool probably has a similar dynamic with his old lady. I don't feel how she tells me to feel. She's very smart. She never tells me to do anything because that would be counterproductive. Somehow she voodoos me. And just doing it without <laughs> saying anything. See, he's all he smiles. He's, he's ready to wrestle. She didn't he's even have to call you three times, Sasquatch. Are you are you rocking the big obnoxious? Wait, where's that Minecraft word? I thought you were. were are you hunting for Smiths? I don't hunt people. They hunt me, and they never. Are you baiting me. Smiths? I don't bait masters or master baits. But listen. <laughs> Sure, sure. I uh, I was backstage, sitting, chilling, relaxing, when I heard my name spoken from the ether. Oh, you were already up here? No, I, I was like, I had already clicked the button, was letting everything like refresh, re up, and restart, and everything. But uh, then I heard her call me out, and I was like, God, that's cold at my back, man. Oh. It gave me the chills. You, you, know, you the can feel that, that sort of cold, harsh energy. And this is the picture we get for, oh. for, under, for underboob. This, this is the picture she gives us for an underboob statement. Only, <laughs> only a complete psychopath would be promising us underboob for two weeks and then show up with her granny picture on. Just a second. Yeah, true. Just a second now here. But no, Hello. granny have their place. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Grannies are cute, and they have a lot of side boob and under no, no, They belong at Waffle House with somebody named Caucasian Sasquatch trying to get her <laughs> scattered all the way. <laughs> covered. <laughs> covered cat and I want to understand, understand something here, and then I'll um, move on and quit being obnoxious. Well, I'll try. Eggs to doubt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. You know what? I'm not even going to start. Let's, well, just, no, you should, let's just talk. <laughs> You should start. I actually wasn't even paying attention. I was distracted by the irony of the grown ass man who, in the last chat, said, Flow state, don't talk to me. And then come out, comes over here to talk to me. Like the double irony. Do you need attention, Tarek? I don't have much for you unless you uh, donate. Yo, mostly. Flow, fuck the haters and the agitators. Be yourself, son. You and boy. rise above all the bullshit because you know you got it, son. Do you have any songs uh, that you could sing about Tarek and just yeah. some bad things about him? Can we sing I'm about one. Just off the top of my head. Let's hear that. He's got small balls. She's got small balls. <laughs> <laughs> twinkle, twinkle, little star. <laughs> no one oh. can be just what you are. 
<laughs> no, I thought, Flo, I thought you wanted to kind of debate and, you know, not be too nice and not cupcake. But I don't know that I've got a lot of brain power for having an intelligent debate, but I'm perfectly, I have perfectly enough energy to be just an aggravating personality. Okay, I got you. The disagreements bring people together. I guess it's it true. definitely entertains people. It's escapism. It's distracting. Harmon, people would you? Don't, people don't want to fold their laundry. They don't want to call their mom back. They don't want to do their taxes. Like this, you'll like this one. So I was on a panel over there with Northwoods Press. When Ajot asked me why I was scraping the bottom of the barrel, I said, "Bitch, watch this," and came over here. <laughs> <laughs> Who was that you you just uh, burned on? Ajot. So oh, one? Ajot. You. <laughs> Shout out, Ajot. Hit the like if you're over here uh, seething. Um, did you see the tour? <laughs> did you see her short? Mine, you had to laugh. <laughs> that was good. I like that. You know what else was hilarious? When uh, who, whoever the chick was on that was up there at the beginning, when I first showed up, um, you said his show is about inclusion. And she goes, yeah. that's beautiful. Uh, it's, I feel like she missed the flavor. She, she, she doesn't quite completely understand what I mean. Cause I, cause the very next statement I make is, uh, there's more hate in that chat than any, anywhere I've seen in a minute. There's so really? much hate in the chat sometimes. I mean, sometimes. Maybe it was just your accent that she didn't understand. I'll buy that. A lot of people underestimate me. Go ahead. Yeah, you don't seem to enjoy. I love being underestimated. There's like when somebody's like obviously underestimating the shit out of me and being arrogant about it, like I get so fucking excited. Um, it's a great feeling knowing that you're about to just fuck somebody's world up. What I like, what I like is when there's like five people who know me and know better. And then there's that one guy who comes at me and I'm just got that shitty grin on my face. <laughs> I'm just sitting there waiting patiently. Yeah, I keep so they just think you're this old country boy, huh? They don't know nothing. Well, I am. I am. I'm exactly what I appear to be. What they don't see He's, is my library card. Right. Well, He's watch, like, the, watch this, folks. This is all the fuck you got to say to people. When people want to talk shit to you, you can say, Lick my oh, crack. Didn't, you, didn't your mama tell you it's not nice to talk shit about other people when I'm I will never. Know, talk that's shit about that's, not, that's not a people. path I will ever take forward. My side. mom was the one talking oh, shit, so no. <laughs> oh, fair enough. Fair <laughs> you know, but these people, they, you know, a lot of them, they want to talk shit. And from the perspective of, like, they got something to say. But here's the interesting thing. If you don't allow their words to reflect upon you because you know who you are, then it's the mere reflection and or they're projecting. So you can shut the fucking shit down and be like, look. Sure. Yo, mama told you to not talk shit about yourself when you you're preaching like, oh, to a pro. You. Like, the only you. person on this panel who still maybe gets under their skin is is you know the old lady right below me. But um, I actually enjoy it. So Tarek down here is a perfect example. You ever had a? Did you ever have a pet hamster? <laughs> you know how My hamster. You ever seen a hamster dribble? Sometimes they'll like just run straight up to the wall of the tank and start like scratching up the wall. Right? They're not going anywhere. But they're just like burning it. Like, I don't know what they're doing. Just dumb hamster shit. That's what, when I see Tarek down here, like trying to get people riled up. For me, he looks like a hamster trying to run up the glass wall. He's never going to get out. He's just going to. So he's never going to get out and make his point. So it doesn't bother you. The impression I get is. Every time. Oh, go ahead. Sisyphus, the whole Sisyphus issue of trying to push the boulder up the hill mm -hmm. and never getting to the top. Right, Gary, Gary Baxter wants me to teabag you, Lindsay, but you are not dressed appropriately for that. Please do. I'm begging for it. It's been 15 years. I only teabag people who don't want it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't do that. Anything but that. Wait, a ragamuffin, I think there's something you don't understand because hmm. Lo doesn't get his feelings hurt at all and he doesn't care what anyone says. So he doesn't have, you don't have to give him the old. You know, hey, they don't matter. Look who's look who's the insult coming from. Therefore, it kind of negates itself. He well, actually, <laughs> he actually loves being attacked. 
Oh, he's, no, he's I, like no a, I know that. I know he stands in his own, his but feeling. I'm just saying, in reality, this is the funny thing about the fucking insults from people is that sure. they would like, they'll, they'll throw things at you, but it's up to us whether we accept those, right? Because we, in reality, we accept what we accept about ourselves. So if we already know who we are, it doesn't fucking matter what somebody says about you because who the fuck are they to say something about you? They don't know you. Right. So you only accept what you accept about yourself. And that that's the point I'm making. Flows flows legit. And you are as well, Lindsay. I appreciate you. And, you know, you. you know, I know that, but I'm just saying I'm reiterating, you know, I think everybody on the panel right now um, is pretty authentic is pretty much themselves. You get what you I get. Pretend oh, yeah, for sure. to be a mythical creature. What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even a noun. I'm not even a thing. I'm a state of being. I thought maybe that bridge collapsed and you lost your home there, Sasquatch. Are you the troll under the bridge? He doesn't live under a bridge. He's just from the south. <laughs> a retired. Hey, that's, his, that's his winter. That's his summer home. He, and you're not retarded. There. What are you talking he's about? A, that's his summer home underneath that bridge. Who? Sasquatch? Yeah. He's just autistic, but this whole metaverse <laughs> is just pure autism. It's yeah, weapon no, grade no. autism all over YouTube. See, here's what I tell everybody. You can be as angry as you want. You can be as vociferous as you like. You can bring all the vitriol you want, but I can remain nice. autistic longer than you can be angry. Yeah, I like it. It's taking control. We all have control issues. Well, okay. Well, maybe, maybe that's where they'll get some family. Maybe family members I just, lost their home. I just have control. Lost. I don't have control issues. That's an issue with control. No, that's your issue. That's my control. <laughs> I see you would make a good lawyer, and I know you've been told that. My my defense attorney really was trying to convince me to go to law school after I got out of jail. <laughs> I, know. I know. It becomes an issue, though. No, you won't agree. I was going to say, wouldn't you say, but you wouldn't because you don't. Well, I don't know yet. I don't know how you know already what I'd say. Well, wouldn't you say something whatever it is, let's say it's control, an obsession with control or a dire need for control. You know, an excess is actually an issue and it can affect with your ability to be as effective as you could be in daily life. Absolutely. If I were less of a control freak, I could probably get more done on this channel because I would be able to like give other people access to things, but um, for sure. Nice. I'm very impressed. I did it just to spite you. You, you know what? I was, I did. Your, <laughs> I used reverse psychology. I have control of the situation. Your backfilling uh, intentions. You I knew what was going to happen. This makes me want to reiterate the fact that flow state. You have far too much shit going on backstage. You can't keep up with that shit, even with two monitors, and you need a producer. Um. I can't afford a producer. So unless you know somebody who wants to work for free. Your 13 year old daughter to work for free. Are you kidding? Have you met a 13 year old girl? <laughs> I was teasing with you. I, uh, That's a hard question. We're not answering those. Oh uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> can you imagine trying to get her to say just for one day, come in and try it out. Would she even do it one day? Huh? Would she help you for one day? Who? Uh, my daughter? Yeah. Um, yeah. She, I mean, she'd negotiate it. She's my daughter. She'd, she'd try to haggle it instantly out of her favor. You can't ask her for anything without her instantly trying to exploit the opportunity. I approve of that. And um, the next I thing you know, that. she's pen pals with Tommy and they're in love and she's missing from her room the next day. So I would suggest somebody mm, maybe 18 and above. I'm gonna show. I'm gonna do. I, I'm gonna show her some Illuminati videos and ask her what she. She. Nah. She's, yeah, you got to get reaction video. Of careful, her. careful, bro. Careful. Listen, listen. I'm I here. understand that all parents think that their kids are more perfecter than they are. My daughter is absolutely too snobby for Tommy. <laughs> she texted that? me this morning at nine. She goes, Dad, are you awake? Can you bring me my Stanley Cup? I left it on the counter. The water here at school tastes like bleach. Oh, and He's, I still love the thing when she dumped her boyfriend because he quit the football team. That's just, <laughs> that's just priceless. I have and, never heard that one. And guess what? An hour later, I was at the school with her Stanley Cup 
taking her out of school for the whole fucking day. Oh, she oh that's because you're a schmuck. You're a total pushover, and you live right here around this finger. It's also because I'm anti authority. I'm anti authority, and yeah. uh, it pisses me off when I have to buzz in to get my daughter. They have to like, what are you here for? My fucking kid. That's a control issue. It's actually not an issue because I also believe that kids should not be stuck in school being bored into stupidity um, as much as they are. I, I was using purpose. sarcasm. Oh, total purpose. Yeah, I I I intentionally push the uh, the amount of absent days as much as, as far as I can. Which she's smart; she gets good test scores and she's got good grades. So I can. I mean, right now we're at two times what is supposed to be the limit of days absent. They don't say shit. I'd like to put you on the spot. You can, can try. I? Okay. So your daughter, would you be okay with your daughter eventually meeting and loving and marrying a man who is exactly like you? <laughs> what do you live? <laughs> I think, well, I think, well, I don't think, so I don't think that that would be possible because she's too much like me and they would butt heads. This is a hypothetical, and I, I'm putting um, you on the spot, which means I'm making you have to think outside of the boundaries. Yeah, I'd be good with it. You said I could. Okay. I don't know Sasquatch. if you've noticed. I like me. <laughs> yeah, I've noticed. Sasquatch, how would you answer that? Born like like flow state? If I know you had a daughter, would you let her date you? Someone like you, rather. All right. First of all, I want to be perfectly clear that I've never had any control over that girl in the first place. Disclaimer. Uh, yeah, that that's not a question because she's going to do as she pleases. And ain't a damn thing we can do about it. I'm the same way. Um, that being said. So your attitude might also be part of that, that dynamic. Sure, 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 sure. I'm not debating that point. I'm stating that if she decided she was going to date or marry or get involved with a guy who's just like me, keep in mind. When my wife married me, I was strung out in every drug known to man. When I asked her to marry me, I was strung out in every drug known to man. But I promised her I would get clean. And she's like, when? Yeah. I said, I can't. That's, now, a, that, that's the way to make a promise, sir. Well, I mean, I was injured. I was broken. I was barely able to walk. And I was like, the very day I can get off these things, I swear to God, I will. And she believed me. And it took 10 years or so. And I finally did it. And here, here we are. <laughs> but I would <laughs> rise against marrying a man like me because I am completely unmanageable. Although I'm easily purchased through sex. So <laughs> I also am easily purchased within within bounds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. Yeah. I actually I, I don't know that I'm easy to purchase. I'm I, I sell things easily. Everything's for sale around me. <laughs> Harmon, it's would, only fair. I've got to ask you too. I would say a hundred percent yes compared to what she married. Oh no. <laughs> now my she oldest did. daughter, she she did a fucking ringer, bro. She she went out and found somebody who immediately got locked up for 15 years. Nice. Yeah. So my daughter would I would much rather be with someone like me than what she has. Some California, oh, it's worse than that. University of Stanford, Stanford, liberal as you can get, liberal person in the world. Hey, fuck. I'm drinking vodka. Yeah, but right he's a good man. Is I'm going to get a Pepsi. It's not you know what? Pepsi. He is about as beta as you can get. My daughter is such a, a my daughter's such a bitch. She really is bad. She is just uh, not a nice person. So she sits there and tells him what to do constantly, and he does it. She's the right man for him because no one else would put up with her. I'm telling you, that's she's true. probably she probably hates him. I don't know. I think she hates everybody. You know how good useful idiots are for doing things, though. Yeah, she'll sit on the couch and not move, and tell him to get this, get this all day long. She will not move. Sit there and smoke her marijuana all day long, and not move five inches from the couch, and he'll have to do everything. She I must would, be I extremely would. good looking, then. No, she's just a bitch. <laughs> so I'm gonna tell Z how you're talking about your daughter after you getting on him talking about talking about women. Well, I'll tell you, if you met my daughter, you would say I'm complimenting her. But isn't that partly I, your fault? Partly your fault that she's a bitch or not? What do you no, think? No, I go back. I used to keep journals, right? And when she was in fifth grade, 
10 years old. I'm sitting there going back reading the old journal, and I'm, we're, me and her mom were having an argument. I says, man, you need to do this, girl. She needs to change her attitude. She's just a mean little girl. She's been mean since day one. She just Some people are just mean, and they have to be yeah. someone's daughter. So I got one that's a daughter who's mean. She just is mean. And she's a biter. She's a cutter. She She's, I don't know. We didn't drop her on her head or nothing. So I don't know. She just got that California stuff in her blood. She got that demon from her mama. No, her mom was. A demon her, mom, demon. Her, mom, her mom needs a reward putting up with me. Her mom was awesome. It's just her. She's just mean. Her brothers are awesome. Everybody loves her brothers. And she's this just a awesome. mean person. Just Do you have mean. any kids you like? I got two boys. I got twin boys. They're okay. But, uh, <laughs> Thank no, you. but my daughter, she's just mean to everybody. Her brothers won't go around her. Nobody yes. goes around her in the family. Nobody. That's freaking awesome. But you know that people are mean in life. They have to be someone's son or daughter, right? So, you know, not everybody's going to be nice. And so that one mean one is my yeah. daughter. I feel and like Minecraft crazy. failed to actually load this chunk. Like, this seems partial to me. Put it this way. If, she was uh, 20 years old. She was the one that started out in Yelp when Yelp was just starting, right? And it was just ground, ground me. And, uh, so I she's, miserable because, she's miserable because she hates her husband. Women don't respect men who are spineless, and she's stuck with this dude that she can't coax into manning up. That's my. This story. is what I did with her. I went out and worked extra overtime. This is why she constantly abuses him verbally is to try to get him to sack up, have a spine, and have something to say, an opinion, uh, a real one. So I went out and bought her a brand new Apple computer back in this was what night? This is two thousand and three or something cost two thousand dollars i give it to her i said well maybe now we can video once a, once a month or something like that she goes why just because you bought me something you think i have to do something for you that was her response no, no. okay what do you do <laughs> you know that's just sad and then when okay, she had just uh, use some fake psychology let's use some fake um freudian psychology would would you say she's modeling after your father's after her father's your your relationship with the mother where the mother was more dominant and the father was more acquiescent is that how you were to your wife yeah follow that up with a question after he answers <laughs> no who <laughs> fucked who and no, who was the me. dominant one of you and your wife oh i definitely was to the core i mean i was i was bad I was would you ever let her tie you up <laughs> no are you kidding me i got trust issues on that ain't no one doing that Doctor, he wouldn't even stick his finger in my butt because I wouldn't let him. He gets so mad. I said, "Nope, I don't care. <laughs> when you check your prostate, nope, he ain't doing it." And so, no, I was definitely the dominant one. And uh, oh, she hit, she really? put up with a lot of shit for me, a lot of shit. She deserves all merit badges she could ever have. Best mom there is. So, well, no. okay. So, so here's what's my your question. Psychological thing you can say. So I, go ahead. Um. So I have one daughter that is biologically mine. I have a, another daughter that I adopted basically right after she was born and a son that was abandoned by his father that I've also adopted, right? All of these kids refer to me in my first name, except for my daughter who calls me, get this, father. Because she's had umpty hundred daddies, but one father. Her mom is dominant as hell. So is so am I, which is obviously why we're not together. That was my issue with my ex-wife. Right? She wants to be in control, but is a moron. I want to be in control and think she's a moron. <laughs> That's the problem. <laughs> Bro, we had the same first marriage. I didn't marry her. I'm smarter than you. <laughs> but I figured out my problem within a year. Good That's girl. pretty damn good. Um, so just all of the guys this chick has married, married, she's had like seven husbands. She's married two, I think. Uh, all of them were completely subs. All of them, with the exception of this last one, who is basically a normal guy. My kids were absolute messes up until they each got to about 17 and they started developing like some real world type personality stuff. They were my messes daughter, until they moved out of the house. Is that what I'm? <laughs> well, no, uh, my daughter was a complete flake until she acquired the ability to move out. She turned 18 
and got some really bad medical news about some chronic illness that she's going to have to deal with later in life. And suddenly overnight, she went from being completely flaky, useless. You can't count on her for nothing to solid as a rock. Wow. That doesn't happen often. Well, let me tell you, you're going to die shaking in a terrible death and you might decide to live better. Right. Mm -hmm. So there's nothing anyone can do about it. There is no freaking cure. And so she sat there for about two days in an absolute funk. And then she picked her head up, wiped her nose, stopped crying, walked out and was a real grown woman. And it blew my mind. I was uh, astounded. My well, first like daughter you said, literally grew up overnight. She married a guy headed and old tried to marry another dude. He got locked up before they could and has a kid by the second guy while she was married to the first guy. She was a 40 year old woman when she was born and turned into an incompetent child when she turned 19. <laughs> she was solid as a rock all the way. She, she had, she had to take care of her friends. She had to take care of her brother and sister. She had to take care of her mama when she was all doped up. She had to take care of 17 daddies when they were drunk that whole nine yards born 40 years old and turned 14. The day she turned 19, it was the really weird juxtaposition. Suddenly my unreliable daughter is the most reliable person in my family. And my reliable daughter is off being flaky somewhere, which, you know, more power to her. I hope she has fun. She certainly has the one that called your father. The one that calls me father is solid as a judge right now. Okay. She's amazing. I am utterly astounded. She, she, I am so proud of that girl that every single time we part, I look at her and tell her that I'm proud of you. She's 19. She's not strung out on anything. She doesn't run around doing stupid crap anymore. She's uh, an, an adult. She is an adult what people thought about me until i was in jail with a dollar bond well i might no, I, I, I was smoking meth for a long time it was really the cop situation i was i was hiding the meth for a long time right i have unwearable tires sir that's what it's a phrase somebody used to describe me he said you have unwear you, unwearable tires because you just keep adding things and adding things and adding things and it doesn't wear you down Oh, I got you. Shout out to grandparents. Oh yeah, I'm a grand squatch. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a Papa Squatch. That's why that's why uh M calls me Papa Squatch is because I have a granddaughter. That's not why. All right, so <laughs> she calls me. Yeah, I miss people with their grandparents because I after nine years old, all my grandparents had passed away already. What's the, do you guys have any grandparents still alive? Both of my moms, neither of my dads. Although, well, um, I guess all four, because my mom's parents are divorced, so. But you're the ones that are her mom and dad. Are they still alive? Right. Her, her mom. Yeah. Um, all four of them are still alive, including her biological parents, but her mom's husband is, um, a grandpa too. And, and all respects he counts as full grandpa my grandpa's wife uh she's you know first name basis yeah so i yeah, gotta say nine years old as long as i can remember so uh, all those that have grandparents you i guess you guys appreciate them so much more huh um i guess what about your about katie does she, she appreciate her grandparents or she like them or what i don't know i hear her coming in i'll ask her hey katie Harmon wants to know if you appreciate your grandparents. Yeah. Yeah. She said yes. Sort and simple, yeah. huh? Yeah. Well, there you go. A lot of people don't have grandparents that are very old. You know? Because Harmon's grandparents died when he was young. I'm still lucky to have grandparents. Yeah, she's got what both of your grandmas are alive? And I love talking to you. I'm looking forward to the day that um her mom kicks off. Because okay, <laughs> financial or what? No, because she's a bitch. Oh. Yep, it can be mean ones too. You gotta be they're not they're gotta be related to someone. 
Yes, I just drank grapefruits out of a jug. Did you ever finish building that Sasquatch? That hidden thing you were talking about? I'm sorry, I'm talking to my did wife. You, oh, okay. did, you, did you ever finish that thing on your game you're playing? You were trying to build a secret dungeon? I actually, yeah, no, um, I managed to get it set up. And if anybody wants to try to join it, y'all have to look me up on the, the either Microsoft or PlayStation. PlayStation I can't. Game. PlayStation Network. Great as, yeah, yeah. I'll, get, I'll get right on that. <laughs> Capital Great Sky Troll GST. No, I'm but just teaching you everything. Up me off. Whatever the fuck y'all want to do, dude. Uh, <laughs> no, the, I, the, but people I'll join. Wait. How do they join? Seriously. In what? Join the, the game. game. It's just like online and they just get your name. and they Man, it's back. not fun. I He's just, this is just like, it's like video game ASMR. Yeah, yeah. No, he's not wrong. <laughs> Although I had to uh, start a new world in order to actually do what I wanted to do. But with people involved because I'd set it up wrong to start with. And now people can join, although I haven't opened it yet. I haven't told it. I just told people. Y'all are the first people I've told. Uh, and I have taken over a village off over here, but I'm out exploring at the moment. I'm just looking around. You know how, so instead of, he plays Minecraft, I just chain smoke. This is my bodily activity on these channels. <laughs> All right, I so I play Minecraft and Minecraft. So I'm I'm a multi path destroyer here. Like, like we talked about once. Only thing I ever played is Zelda. That takes up enough time. My daughter got me like a few a handful of years ago when they were newish. Uh, I downloaded Minecraft and I downloaded Roblox, and uh, I played with her a little bit. And I meet her and her friends and the stupid fucking things, and I eventually uninstalled them because they took up too much phone space. And they're just boring ass games. Oh, you're on the phone. But uh, anyway, uh, here here's the thing. I've got a handful of people who play Minecraft. They have all have their own freaking servers and stuff like that. And I joined their server, and they were utterly flummoxed by the things that I was doing. Instead of going out and building me a little house and getting me a farm and doing all that stuff, they come over to where I'd been hanging out, and they walk in and die. And they walk in and die. And they walk in and they're just overrun by monsters. They fall in a deep pot full of lava. They, they're like, what are you doing? I said, it's called a dungeon. You can come get my crap if you want. You booby-trapped your your world? Yeah, I booby-trapped my entire layer. I had I had a massive mountain that I carved hollow and <laughs> made a pyramid out of. And there was one doorway with a big bright light. Like, come on in, you know. And everybody who come in just died. And I went and picked up all their crap and put it in the chest in the middle of the dungeon and went back to what I was doing. <laughs> <laughs> I had so much cool shit. <laughs> You're like a fucking spider. <laughs> dungeon master is the term. Mm. Oh, that's funny. Do you have booby traps on your in your real have, house? Is there a booby trap on your premise? I don't answer questions. I don't answer I bet you have at, I bet you have at least one booby trap somewhere. No, nah, maybe let's not. Out, let's figure out. I bet he does. Let me figure out what he would have. I bet I'm not the only one who has. No, I'm not going to say that. The screen porch. He has a screen. That's for sure. Let's see. Negative. I have a rear patio. Oh, okay. Okay. So let me think. What would what would you? Be? What I have is a very large dog, and a high capacity magazine. That is nothing that a Molotov cocktail and a little antifreeze can't take care of. You'd need time for that as well. Oh, dogs the, love antifreeze. Oh, dude, my dog's not gonna have no part of that shit. He he he'll barely fuck with me and my wife. We're the only <laughs> people we'll mess with. And you got one of those dogs. No, no, my daughters, my daughters come in drunk, fall down on the floor. My dog goes, lays down next to him, goes to sleep. He's good with that. Me, I come in wearing an unusual shirt, and he's like, who are you? <laughs> a different hat and a pair of sunglasses. Hey, there's a guy in our house. <laughs> Who's that guy? <laughs> well, I wanted I wanted uh, Joe Cool to come on. I guess he's not coming on. Uh, he, doesn't like you. he doesn't like you? Like well, I don't know, maybe. Uh, Actually, he says he likes me, which is certainly a way of saying he doesn't like me. 
Um, I don't think he's ever said he. The fact that that statement that there was a conversation where that statement came out at all makes me think maybe he doesn't like you. Right. That's what I was thinking mm -hmm. is that we had this conversation one night that was specifically about Roe versus Wade, and he didn't like where it landed because I have a very – all right, let me, let me do this right because it won't be right unless I do it right. I have the opinion – that an unwanted pregnancy is a medical condition until you tell people about it, right? If you <laughs> in the morning and you find out you're pregnant and you wake up and you tell your father, your mother, your priest, and your doctor and decide to have an abortion, I think that's between you, your mother, your father, your priest, and your doctor. But if you tell the father of that child, it is now a child. Okay. That's that's the line. He, he was like, I wanted to find line. I gave that's him the fine line. line. He didn't like it. <laughs> yeah, that, that's that's that. well, that could go a long ways in a lot of arguments because you say. But well, here's the she, way I look. She at should it. tell him. She should. If, she should not have the choice no, not to. No, tell him. no, it is a medical condition until you admit it's a child, or if you get say punched in the stomach, in which case it's going to be prosecuted as a person. Exactly. Well, I mean, that's what I'm saying. All of this would probably happen in the first couple of few weeks of a pregnancy. You probably wouldn't get much further than a month, maybe two. So what was, his, what, was his, what was his stance? He wanted me to lay it down on a particular number of weeks or a particular number of months or at a particular time during the pregnancy. And I, and I refused to do it. I'm like, that's not it. It's a medical condition until you admit it's not a medical condition. And at that point in time, it's a person. So if you go and tell everybody and your brother you're pregnant and then turn around and decide to have an abortion, I think that's murder. But if you wake up and you go to you know, talk to your doctor and you talk to your mama and you talk to your daddy and you talk to your lawyer, and you talk to your freaking counselor and you talk to your priest, that is a medical condition. <laughs> you don't see the difference. Um, I, yeah, I mean, the distinction sounds uh, pragmatic. It sounds pragmatic, not accurate, right? Like, which in some ways honest, more honest though, because like nobody really knows when the thing is a thing, right? What the right. fuck was that? Did I That's just hear a rooster? Sure, bro. That, that was my alarm. Sure. I just assumed that Sasquatch had a rooster in there somewhere. <laughs> I've seen I've seen him pull I've seen him reach off stage and just pull out the most randomest shit. Means I gotta go turn something off on the kitchen. Of all the alarms you could have, you chose a rooster. That's a great one, isn't it? No, it's I'm not no. <laughs> you, want a, you want an alarm like that to wake you up. Nobody wants to hear roosters. The yeah, kind like of that. Guy. I'm going to say Sasquatch does. You like my alarm or not? You sound like the kind of guy who does the most basic bitch shit. You like pumpkin spice, don't you? Spice. I, I don't know pumpkin is. spice is really You heard good. my phone ringer, though. My phone ringer is the Pink Panther. Yeah. See, yeah, 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 yeah. Real, dude. And, and, and my text you're, message is the doorbell. Oh, my God. You don't you're, realize you're, how many people want to answer the door when they okay. hear that. If I send you some money, will you go and get a personality that's not basic? No, look, we need to. He needs to be in Meth Gator. He's the dad. Somebody's <laughs> got to have a dad. <laughs> no, 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 no. He's just one of the random assholes fishing on the dock that giggles when the gator grabs him. You hear him <laughs> on his way under. <laughs> I'll be right back. I bet you will. He's got to tell. We got to have him telling people to turn off the lights regularly like turn off the light is the okay. whole gender delusional just because okay i don't know if that's from me this this caused a problem uh in my in my immediate vicinity i had a friend who married a woman who later decided she was a man and they remained married for another five years even had a kid that is so creepy. That's so unbelievably creepy. I agree. At no point, though, did she become a man. That, I, I, As I, evidenced I by the kid. So, no, no. It goes further than that. Because after they got a divorce and after they separated and after all of that was said and done and he, she's over there walking around with a hairy chest, no titties, and pretending she's got a Johnson, 
she hits me up when she's drunk. He, she sits, hits me up when she's drunk one night, wanting to know what I've been up to. And I'm like, I'm not going to participate in your delusions. I don't have to. You can't make me participate in a mental, mental illness. I refuse. I don't care how you were abused as a child. I don't care what anyone did to you. She was one of she was one of the top, I don't know, ten, she was in the top 10 beautiful women in this freaking town and she decided to become a George. And I and I just I'm sorry, I have no fucking respect for that shit. Now, if she'd have been I remember the, hearing you say that that was some prime boy pussy. <laughs> that man had the best boy pussy I ever heard of. That's one of those phrases that just sort of traumatizes <laughs> you. Just a little bit of trauma right on impact. My, my point is, though, that after everything, he ends up dating gay men. And I'm, and I'm so confused because I just... They're straight because they're straight. Everybody involved is straight. Yeah, 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 exactly. Everyone involved has demonstrated their mental illness to such an extent that I cannot participate knowingly. I cannot do it. I won't do it. You want to call yourself Chris? That's fine. I'll call you Chris. I don't care. Just don't come into my living room and try to impel my speech just because you have a fifi. Fuck you. I don't care how much you feel about stuff. I don't care. I missed the beginning of your talking, but Sounds like the, when I went to my son's wedding, <laughs> and my son's wedding is in California. And I tell you what, I think it's just a, it's part of their social status. They got to have so many of each ones in their wedding. And uh, one of the kids that was there had grew they're up. Like, they're like they're like accessories. Husband. Yes, and so, and so I was told to refer to this guy Calvin that I've known since he was a baby as as a girl. I said I ain't doing it. And they want to get mad at me because I won't call him a girl. It's not that. If you present, if you show up and you look like a man, I don't care if your name is Sylvia. If you want to be called Sam, I'll call you Sam. I don't have a problem with that. You present as a man, I will treat you as a man. I have no issue with that. What I have an issue with is presenting as a man and trying to whisper behind your your, your hand that you'd really like to get some of that date. Oh, it's got missed out. <laughs> yeah. I'm wow. not gay. And you're not a man. So one of us has to stop being insane. <laughs> yeah. Which one is it? Is it me who am operating under relatively normal guidelines of the Depends universe? Depends on how or, much you want that boy pussy in the moment. But I dude, consider. I'm not going to lie. I did consider it. I even got really, really <laughs> drunk and thought about it. <laughs> I've and tried to. Really yeah. drunk. I couldn't do it. <laughs> I, I, told you, I told you about uh, the chicken college. I uh, oh yeah. Um <laughs> uh, I hooked up uh, uh when I was living in the dorms I hooked up with another chick in the dorms and uh she, she was in a lesbian relationship but she was like the hot lesbian in the relationship. Apparently she wasn't all that lesbianish. <laughs> um, all, right. all right, hold on. I got, I got a puzzle for you. Santa Claus, the Easter bunny, a lipstick lesbian and a man-hating dyke are all standing equidistant from a dollar bill. <laughs> Which one's going to get the, the dollar bill first? What were the first two? Santa Claus, the Easter Bunny, a lipstick lesbian, and a man-hating dyke. I know, uh, no, I have no clue. The dyke's going to get the money because the rest are a figment of your fucking imagination, dude. <laughs> there you go. They're not I real. You apologize. I didn't write that joke. <laughs> but <laughs> anyway, so I hook up with this chick. Just, just a college hookup. The very next day, I'm in like the lobby of the dorms, and I hear I'm doing something. Like I'm facing this way, talking to people, doing something. I don't remember what, but I hear this voice behind me, and it sounds familiar. And I turn around, and what I'm looking at is a dude with a chick's voice. And like my brain could not register. What she had done is she had cut all of her hair short. And she'd taken the stubble and she glued it on her face like a beard. She had like a beard like mine. And um, she was asking me if I wanted to come to her drag show that night. And uh, Okay, I'm so confused. Wait a second. Let me, let me make sure this is like, okay, I'm sorry. Go ahead. 
Yeah. So lipstick lesbian night before, right? Next morning, I hear a voice. I turn around and what I'm looking at looks like a man because it's got short hair and a beard because she had cut her long hair off and glued stubble on her face. And she was there to invite me to her drag show she was performing in that night. And my it took me like a solid five seconds for my brain to make these two things come together into one reality. And then I just turned around and walked away. I didn't even respond. It was, it still so bothers me. So you slept with this person that night? I slept with her before she had a beard. Clip that, somebody. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I see the stream was talking about peacocks. Yeah, I uh, don't judge me. I had about twenty peacocks growing up. There, there are people in here loving their peacocks. So like this might be a euphemism for gay lover. It does sound like that. It I does. was looking for Tarek in the chat. I just assumed it was him. I think he got blocked. I think Cynthia got his ass. <laughs> Cynthia shot him down. It got weird before you got that beard. We was doing things okay. <laughs> Well, no, so it, it, was, guy, it, was, right? it was already a little bit weird because, like, definitely we were sneaking around. Uh, she did have a big flannel wearing lip, uh, bold like girlfriend. Um, yeah, that was just a sneaking around dynamic that I wasn't. Uh, was this person novel. a girl or female, a girl or male? Like, yes, life. no, it, ha it was a girl, it was a woman, it, a normal feminine girl. But right. the next day, she put on costume like she was yeah. a man, basically. Cool story, yeah. bro. Okay, yeah, cool so story. so this is the point where I can ask questions, right? Yeah. Sure. No, he ain't gonna answer. Well, truthfully, okay. he's gonna lie. Until I shut down, he'll ask, the, he'll ask for these. These aren't gonna touch the soft spots. Don't worry about it. <laughs> so you had a natural woman pretending to be a man in love with women, who was going to a drag show dressed as a man. Right. And wanted to invite me like that was going to fly with her bold like girlfriend anyways, even if I had been down. I that have advice for you on this point. Stop moving around. Chance, no, if you ever get a chance to go on a gay party with a bunch of gay dudes, don't drink with them, but go. Be the driver. Observe what happens. They have the most fun and fabulously. Another bit of advice. If you ever decide to fight gay men, don't because unless you want your ass whipped fabulously, don't do it. So, um, my my ex wife had you know how like some chicks have like they're gay. She had her gay and um, gay. They do party down for whatever reason. They have the best cocaine of anybody ever. Um. Also and opera zip it's nachos and cheese and i did get in a fight with her gay um because we were we were all at a, at a club and uh my ex and i started arguing and so to kind of spider i went i like i have a certain type right like skinny blonde psychos is basically my thing so i went up to the bar and i where two blondes were and i took shots with them and she got mad, so she went on the dance floor with her gay, gay friend and started like grinding with him on to the music, which normally fine. However, she, she's facing me and he's behind her, facing me, dancing on her. And he looks over her head and is like, and starts making faces at me. So I grabbed him, I grabbed his face and I threw him down the steps where we were. I told him he was feeling froggish leap and he didn't leap. So I turned around and then he leapt and he did like a weird jumping sucker punch um but his wrist was pretty limp so while i'm falling I, I grab him and i land on top of him and i'm drawn back and i'm gonna bash him and the bouncers at this place were like fucking monsters that i just flew up in the air and they just handed me over the rails to the police because this bar district has a police a police station inside of it um yeah I didn't get I, it was it wasn't impressive fighting. I do know what you're talking about with the partying though. Um the the case that I'm speaking of, I was in I was involved. I I got a buddy of mine who who does the drag thing on weekends. He normally you run across him, he's a big redneck dude, you stumble up on him, he's you'd never guess. On weekends, he puts some weekends, he puts on a wig, dresses up as Marilyn Monroe. 
and goes and traps guys. It's the weirdest fetish I've ever seen in my life. That's terrifying. Uh, it it should be considered. <laughs> saw him in person, like in a normal day, you would never guess. And then if you saw him at the bar, you'd try you because he likes doing the the ditzy blonde thing. You might try to take him home. I wouldn't because well, I, dude, I. I don't. I, I hear. I understand what you're saying, but I, my. Right. I want you to recognize and appreciate my cognitive dissonance is right there. I got you. I got you. And and you haven't seen him as a woman. <laughs> it's disturbing, dude. You have that that good lady dick, dude. It's 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 unreasonable. <laughs> That's what it comes <laughs> down to. It is it is irrational. And and I'm and I just I just choose not to judge him because what am I supposed to do? He's having fun. He's doing his thing. What well, you, there's a lot of he, anyway. He's a fucking predator. I'm not debating that point. I'm he judging also, him. He and has, I have I have very low moral standards. There is a gym over here in this particular town that has a large gay population in it. And there was this one evening where a guy. Did figured it out, I guess, and he got all upset about what was going on and how he was getting rooked by some dude dressed as a chick because he's not a tranny. He he's a, he's a transvestite. He likes dressing up as women. It's not that he wants to be a woman. He none of that. He's gay and a transvestite, and that's the end of it. He's a, he's married and has kids. He's straight every day of the week except saturday and sunday and and maybe sometimes on the fourth of july <laughs> Blink twice if you're talking about Harmon and code sheesh that's he's not straight any day of the week <laughs> Jeez. i'm not gonna let that fly oh no he, he was not straight any day of the week. Yeah. I'm, I, I'm noticing a little bit of like uh uh definitional fluidity with sasquatch right like Abortion has these weird ass parameters. Like it, now, it's murder. But yeah, he, um, he counted six like people. But if you tell a seventh person, and you've had breakfast, then it's not. Uh, well, yeah, he said he said six six people he could tell. But yeah, tell a seventh person, and now it's real. Six every people, person I named, every person I named in that list is either directly responsible for a person, uh, or has a legal obligation to maintain a secret. I'm not I saying that there's talking. no support. I assume that there's, I know you well enough to know that there's some sort of insane underlying logic, uh, but just because you can piece together an internally consistent paradigm doesn't mean it's really uh, in, interacting with the real world in the way that you've uh, MacGyvered up this, this logic structure. I was merely asked to get a defining line, a point at which you believe it becomes murder rather than abortion. Right? Yeah, You answered him. He just didn't like it. He did, that's the thing. You don't like that's, my answer. I, yeah, you, we you, right? I didn't. So I don't like the question is dishonest because it demands a black and white thing that's not black and white. But you gave a black and white response. And that's what he didn't like. I but it was, he liked it. <laughs> um, I was, uh, I think I'll oh, Rocky. Huddle up on the whole thing and not know what to say and go blah, 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 something, 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 murder. And I'm not one of those people. I just say it's a fucked up decision, whatever they make. Yeah, it's I bad. think it's murder, but I also don't think it should be illegal. No. I'm not debating but the murder aspect. I think we can all agree that killing a child is murder. I think. <laughs> disagree on exactly when it becomes a child yeah. um at the point when <laughs> i think for most people it is it's not a child as long as it affects their lives and then once it's just a hypothetical then it becomes a child i am totally confused by that statement okay i'm not gonna the wait eagle you, eagle's egg if you go up there and get an egg from an e eagle's nest they get you for killing a bald eagle they just had the egg because it's you should try taking an egg from a woman they really get freaked out get real <laughs> pissed off, dude yeah but anyway so i'm just saying they the law's backwards on that they'll say they'll put you in jail for taking an eagle's egg but not for killing a baby so i mean it gets to be arguable too much like he says it's not black and white 
That's what I was. I but I like your answer. I like your answer, for Sasquatch, that you gave him because he wanted a black and white one, and you gave him one. You, you so don't like was, it because you because of the answer itself. You like it because you're disagreeable and defiant. I was asking you if you had said that correctly. You said as long as it directly affects your I'm, life. Yeah, I don't even know if I said it correctly. I'm not going to try to untangle it. I think okay. you think right. I think you know what I meant, but I know not, what you, like, meant. you didn't say what you meant. That's the only concern I have. <laughs> All right. Well, you can straighten it out if you feel inclined to. Otherwise, okay. people can just be confused. Just I'm okay it. with leaving them confused. Great. We can do confusion. If you want to it start doesn't matter how clearly I explain thing, people are gonna be confused on purpose anyways. Yep. Wow. Hi Scott. Speaking of confused. Holy shit. What are you guys on to? Warcraft uh, and abortions. What about you? Minecraft. Uh, I, went, I went to sleep, decided uh, I was gonna get to bed early, and then one of my dogs started fucking acting up, and I'm like, what the hell is going on? Just did you roll over on it? Yeah. No, I uh, I brought him out here into the living room and found out that he got into the trash and where I had cleaned my bong, and he, he likes to eat paper and fucking rip up paper. So he ate a big fucking chunk of resin, evidently, and this dog is high as a kite. Mm -hmm. All right. Don't know what to do. I've got, got, got a hot dog story. <laughs> <laughs> He's having fun. The other Are you sure you want to tell this right on the heels of of uh, the <laughs> boy or the lady dick story? <laughs> sure. Yeah, you really. Know. I did hear your lady dick story, Sasquatch. I was a little bit off. It's up to you, bro. You want to hear? You want to hear the hot? Let's dog hear it. Story? Let's hear it. Go with the yeah. hot dog. All right. So I had a buddy of mine who uh, was given a show dog who had been shot. He nurses him back to health, and <laughs> the uh, the. Uh, the dog takes to the guy, but the reason this dog has been shot is because it has attacked mailmen, cops. There's this small place in Augusta that actually delivers milk in an old milk truck, like an actual milkman. Attack the milkman. He has bitten, drawn blood on all of these people. This dude accepts the dog. This thing is 176 pounds of freaking absolutely insane great dane i go over to go I visit great danes were chill most are he may have a little cane corso in him or something i don't know he those was, are badass dogs he was sure. bea beautiful brother like a big beautiful dog and he's he's chained up with this huge logging chain on this huge freaking tree with this huge freaking eyeball and you know there's always a weak point <laughs> it's that bolt is not in far enough man that's what the weak point is we i come up to the gate because homie of course he lives in a fucking cow field so i come up to the gate i have to park outside the gate so i grab all my dopes and everything and i've got it all stacked up in my hand like this i don't know nothing about the dog never seen him before in my life and I unlock the gate, I come in, shut the gate, and I make it about 30 feet across that field when this freaking horse with massive teeth comes at me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm unsure what I'm looking at because I thought dire wolves had died out many years ago. But that's how I felt with the chick with the beard. My feet knew exactly what to do because with no thought whatsoever, I ended up back on the other side of the fence with none of my accoutrement. So this dog runs up, snarfles through the pile, and snarfles something up, and then runs off. And I call up my buddy. Hey, man, I'm out here by the fence. Your dog's off the chain. Oh, shit. Hold on. I just put him on it. Let me let me go out there and put him on. I'm like, okay. He hooks up the dog on the chain. I go and get all my stuff, and I'm like, damn, he, he just freaking jacked this whole freaking, freaking thing of damn rosin, dude. Like, damn, that's fucking $90 of rosin. That's enough to completely fuck up a whole bus full of grown adults. <laughs> so I go inside. Dude invites a bunch of people over. We're having this party. I get a little bit drunk and I'm a dog person. Like me and dogs get along. I'm a dog person. When he comes out later, I'm out there sitting with the dog, talking to him about how he had stolen $90 worth of dope and he was going to have to come up with it. <laughs> <laughs> and homie standing on the back porch smoking a cigarette going 
you know that dog's bitten like nine people, right? I'm like, not, nah, dude, stay out of it. It's between me and him. And, and we go through the whole fucking thing again. And I'm pretty sure the dog understands when I realize, wait, I'm on mushrooms and dogs can't talk. So I got to stand up and walk away and this motherfucker latches a hold to my damn boot. Now I'm wearing steel shank boots. Cause I was a steel hanger at the time. And I had like steel toe, steel shank with a steel splint down the back. Right. This thing latches a hold to my leg, start shaking me around like a freaking alligator. I really wish the phone had, cause uh, Gene was recording a message to somebody when this happens. And in the background of that message, you could hear the dog going absolutely insane and me calmly explaining that this doesn't change how much he owes me. <laughs> you got to stick to your principles. You got to stand in your square. <laughs> nah, dude, I was just fucked up. <laughs> mm -hmm. Dog attacks are way better when you're fucked up. Yeah, no, I mean, I th the thing is, is Holby like freaked out. He ran to go grab his gun and, you know, uh, he, he's like, but it was alligator on your leg. So that probably would have just made things worse. Yeah. Something like I'm that. I'm getting bit by your dog. So you shot me in the leg. Well, he went to shoot him and I'm like, stop, stop. He'll get tired <laughs> in a second. And the dude's like, what do you mean? Stop. He's eating your foot. I'm like, dude, there's six pieces of steel in there. He's not going to get far. <laughs> <laughs> the only dog story I got in our little town of 5,000 people is always makes news. A freaking mailman bit a dog. The dog had bit what? Him three times, and he, he turned around and bit that dog right behind its ear. Just bit the hell out of it. What does the post office do to fucking people? And so that the headlines was mailman gets uh, suspended for biting dog. So they suspend him. This is from experience. When you come across a dog who's aggressive, and this sounds crazy, it sounds nuts. Don't, don't. Don't judge me on this. If you come across a dog that's absolutely nuts, will not take training, and you're trying to get them to take training, it just won't happen. And they start getting mouthy about it, bite them. They don't really understand listen. words. They don't understand English. But if you bite them, they understand that shit. He, must have, he said the dog never bothered him again. He Damn right. Real rough. He says, <laughs> you ever been bit by a mailman? <laughs> no, I don't want to either. Did you fuck with him if you had? No, <laughs> you're right. I guess a dog learned it though. I, I never thought of it that way, you know. But I don't want to fight a dog. That sounds fucking gross. Well, if you're a mailman and have to face this dog every day, I'm not. I suppose if a dog is latched onto me, I'll probably choose to bite it. Oh no, you're supposed to do this way before you go. It works for horses too. What I've always found though, and and if you're in a pinch, the old thumbs in the eye socket can get just about anything to move. That's it usually is. effective, but don't try it's it. It's so hard to concentrate on that, isn't it? Though in the in the moment, you think you could do that in the moment. Yeah. Yes, but don't try my it. With a my understanding is with a pit bull, you're supposed to jam your fist down his throat, stick your fingers out his I'm asshole, saying. and pull him inside out. Backwards. Why don't you just tell him that you're a man on the land and no crime has been committed? That's right. There no, <laughs> here's, no here's how you handle a dog that's trying to bite you. This works okay. with almost any dog that's big enough for it to work. You'll understand when I get to it. What yeah. he kind of just said, when the dog's coming at you being all aggressive, instead of backing away and covering your face, move forward and ball up one fist and point it at them. If that doesn't stop them from charging, keep moving with that fist straight down their throat as far as you can put it. And when they barf you back up, they won't bite you. Really? This is true. Look at it this way. If because they lock into the eye contact? If you come into somebody's house and you walk in and there's this big, beautiful chocolate cake sitting on the counter and you go, boy, that shit looks like, and it jumps and tries to get down your throat and you barf it out. Are you going to be eating chocolate cake that night? No. How long was it down? <laughs> well, long long enough to barf it out. I mean, there's circumstances that could be exceptions. I'll give you that. There's circumstances where I might eat the dog, but here's the you know, We've probably all had to salvage a pill. Don't get me started, dude. <laughs> <laughs> There's only a hundred stories. Of them. Shit, I have seen some shit. I have seen a group. Never mind. No, tell it. Regurgitated pills. I mean, I. I mean, I haven't run into that. 
You just didn't see it, but if you worked in prison, it happened all the time. Well, I told you about the guy with balloons. The guy with the balloons. He oh, was yeah. Happy I, yeah, he was happy I let him go. He thought I was on his side. This dude, this dude went to go buy some dope, the pills. And apparently he tells everybody that he hadn't, but then he gets sick. And they find out he had. Right? He stole their money to go get his fix, ate all the pills and couldn't hold them down. So he barfed them up. And there's a big pile of pills on the floor and 10 junkies in a room. <laughs> <laughs> oh my fucking God. <laughs> that that scene was stupid. like a horror movie. <laughs> What's the worst you ever seen someone die with this stuff? Like the balloons? Uh, I was sitting in the, our dorm and the guy had been to visiting that day. I guess he had swallowed a lot of balloons and the inmate comes over and hey, walk, go check the guy on the phone. He was just there on the phone for us. Take it, you're not a previous junkie. No, the no, 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 I, I, still I, do, and I, I, just, I don't want to crap my pants, you know. But of course, we don't at that point, it won't matter. I know, but still, it's just in my brain. You know, <laughs> uh, maybe I'm a douche. I'm a douche. Never mind. <laughs> hold on. Never mind. Dog. Whoops. Was, hold on. My shit's acting wild. I'm holding on to this damn dog, hugging him close, and the other dog's trying to attack him, and he's like literally fucking paranoid schizo like any movements making him jerk maybe your own paranoia is what he's picking up on damn well i'm not usually paranoid man but i'm just this is one of my cousins this is one of my cousins sasquatch he's growing a marijuana field in uh, in uh arizona and it's no tolerance right this is in the 80s early 80s then my other cousin he uh pistol whipped his wife and he said the gun went off by mistake and killed her she's five months pregnant he gets four years, and my cousin with the marijuana field got 99 years. It's, it's, stuff Oof. is just weird, you know? Took him nine years to, to fight to get out of it. He, he served nine of the 99 years. But that's what they do to you. Yeah, sure you got yeah I was pretty pissed off when I was in jail with uh, in t possession with intent to distribute charges and a $100,000 bond, and I was in a cell with somebody with kidnapping charges and a $7,500 bond. Like, this is fucking bullshit. Yeah. Hold on. I, I've got a little bit of backstory, not particularly on that, but on how that can happen. Uh, I, ha I have this chick cousin. She's she's psychotic <laughs> person. She's a normal individual. When she gets on drugs, she loses her freaking mind. She thinks she's bulletproof and starts slicing at people with knives and shit, right? I don't know what happened, but she ended up being locked down closet for 12 and a half hours. Now I know her and I could see why someone might have had to lock her in a closet for a while. <laughs> 12 hours is extreme. Well, <laughs> you can you relate. Wanna, you, don't wanna, you don't want to make a mistake and have that, that undercooked, right? Better That's, to be safe than sorry. I, I hear what you're saying, but homie just got out of seven years of a 17 or something. I don't, I don't know how that works. You got to serve a certain amount of it. He just got out of the seven years that he had to do for kidnapping her. Now, she came to his house. She stole his dope. She stole his money. She tried to stab him. He calls the cops. They didn't show up. She tried to stab him again. And he locked her in a closet and left. Jesus, that sounds so like he can't get kidnapping life. now. He can't get kidnapping yes, can. now. because it is holding someone without their permission. Right. Yes, it's not kidnapping though. It's not taking yeah, it's from one kidnapping place. In Georgia, it's right. your imprisonment. Your your allow them. No kidnap. From my, my understanding of the kidnapping, you have to take them physically from like out of the house, like at a bar fight. That's how they get you on kidnapping. No, I don't think you do. You can just prevent them from leaving in most states. It that's is not kidnapping. That's yes, it is. 
it, it falls of- under the kidnapping charges Does in, in the, uh, OCG. Okay, I, I don't know. I just know. I know the guys were in jail. That we've kidnapped a lot more people than you have, Harmon. I think maybe I might have kidnapped more women than you have, dude. <laughs> I anyway, guys, he's a guard. I want to. I want to retract my previous statement. This man has kidnapped far more people than either of us combined. So yeah. Let's say uh, you can let the guy leave the bar, and that's going to be considered kidnapping under some rule. No, but locking someone inside of a small room and depriving them of basic necessities, a bathroom, drink, right. food, that kind of stuff. We that's kind of and torture and some other charges that were eventually dropped. Torture now, is such a subjective thing. Like, where is the line on this? Hilarious. <laughs> to me. She had to sit on the stand and tell them what occurred to lead to her being locked up, and they still convicted him. Really? <laughs> yeah, no. Even after she she went through having broke into his house when he locked her out, stole a whole bunch of stuff and took put it in her car without him realizing it. And then when he woke up and found her doing it, she started slicing at him with a freaking knife. So he managed to get the knife from her, calm her down, and have a conversation. And then she broke a glass against the side of his head. She tackled her and put her in the closet, locked the door, and then went to the police department to go tell them, hey, we need to go get this chick out of the closet because she's trying to kill me. And they locked him up. Yeah, it's just like the same thing. They get yeah. there together. Hey, can we got we, we don't care if he's guilty or the reason. Do we got enough to lock him up? And that's all they cared about. They got to feed the industry. Um, oh, oh, I did a poll. So I turned uh, Rocky Shepard's question into a poll question. Who is the secret trans? Scott 2B wins with 48%. Sasquatch, 27% for second, most likely to be a secret trans. That's just the hair. I'm, yep, I'm third most likely at 24. Sasquatch, I'm just barely less likely than Sasquatch to be a trans. Everybody's convinced Harmon is 100% man. <laughs> Sasquatch is the one that's over here talking about the fucking lady boy. I think at this point he's a boy lady. Oh, only yeah. on a, only on the weekends, right, Sasquatch? Yeah. No, the other guy. I mean, this is the fastest blowjob I've ever had. From let's go back on that one. Let's let's the girl that I. God, I've heard your. I've heard this oh, blowjob no, no, story. No no, 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 stop! Shut up. So the three times I've heard this blowjob story. Oh, three stop. times. Remember I said she was a doppelganger for Tiffany, a girl that I met in New Orleans after Katrina. Scott, I have my own blowjob to worry about. It's not a blowjob story. This is a different story, you jack fucking off. So this is following the fucking yeah. knife story and the bullshit. Um, and this led right to fucking uh, her going. Uh, I wake up in the morning, 4 a.m., 4.30 a.m. And I hope this is a good story, Scott. I've got a woman over my bed with a fucking butcher knife. Well, you've heard my grandparents. They both died by a knife. And I'm going, what the fuck? Well, she found some weed that I had. And I had it stored pretty good, I thought, because she fucking worked out all the time. And I put it in the Pop-Tarts. Fucking no chance she's going to eat Pop-Tarts. But somehow she smelled this. Crazy bitches butt. will take everything apart. She found it in the Pop-Tarts, nonetheless. Wakes me up. What got the money? You, well, you spent the money. What the fuck? You didn't tell me you had money fucking that you spent on weed. And now, before I even get to it, she's already flushed it down the toilet. I'm like, I'm fucking mad, all right? But she's standing over me with a fucking knife, and I'm going, holy shit. So I get, uh, every morning she put on her shoes with a folding chair that was in the room. So I grab a folding chair, and I'm literally like six feet and Roy trying to get out of my fucking bedroom. I get out of the bedroom. She's chasing me around the fucking pool table with a knife. I run straight out the fucking door, and I get in my car. And my dog's running around the neighborhood. Taz is fucking... They didn't run out of the yard. He stays. Good. Why do you distract us with these unimportant not chick, I fucking, about your dog? No, your I'm story might that. be good if you just wouldn't tell us all the other side shit. I'm I don't even know what kind of shoes you were wearing. I don't give a fuck about head. your dog. Hey, you let me tell the story or you tell it for me. What I'm trying to help you improve your story. Okay. Well, next time, do it without the big wine you just gave me. Um, he's, he's still listening. going. <laughs> You're. I'm just going to tell you. Yeah, how the the Dude, you're uh, Harmon, can you can you stop this unstoppable force? <laughs> I like you. <him. laughs> That's funny. Oh God! He's just, he's just Mama, the blob. <laughs> oh, 
I haven't oh, yeah. known him long enough to be bored of him yet. You don't ever get bored of him. Sometimes you just like have the. I don't even. Hear I don't even know what to story. do with it. It's like it's like your brain just kind of goes, "What the fuck?" Well, he does take twenty right. minutes to tell him two minute story. Cheers. That. Yes, you know, because we have to walk through every detail. Him. He repaints the entire okay. scene. There was a butt bucket on his counter. He had. Did we need to know that dinner. his grandparents died of knives. I mean, but what's the difference between him telling a story and me telling a story? When you wake up that way, Harmon, when you wake delivery, up that way, delivery, delivery, self awareness. What'd you say, Scott? When you wake Doesn't up, matter. is that something that's been on your mind for years now? Your grandparents? The blowjob? No, no. When you said you saw that knife, you, then you told us about your grandparents. That's the first thing that goes to your mind when somebody oh, that's what, oh, knives, okay. plays around with knives. If your fucking grandparents on you know New Year's Eve to beat all days, right. if they went out, you would think about it immediately. If somebody holds a knife, I think that story sounds better. Do you guys know that story already, Flo? Uh, I was not paying attention. I was waiting for a break so that I could just play my new short. What about what was it? Do they know about your grandparents, Flo? <laughs> <laughs> um, Scott? What? Do they know about your grandparents? I, like, no, I prefer. I prefer I've, first I've first mentioned it to Flo. He knows it a little bit, but it's not. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's wild. Yeah. I, would, I could see that. Applying fresh aloe vera gel is a great way to treat minor burns at home. I like what is that? I prefer I prefer flow state to OTW. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. I would I could see that. Applying fresh aloe vera gel is a great way to treat minor burns at home. I feel every so now and used to every now you feel good about that? I feel used. <laughs> I like it. You were yeah. <laughs> Uh, you weren't used. You were um, incorporated into. Hey, wife, squat, come here. I want to incorporate you into my bedroom activities. Hey, Flo, if you don't mind, that hey, work. Scott, how did your grandparents die of uh, with the knives? They fell down the stairs while carrying their uh, their their dining set down. <laughs> Yeah, Britt, when I went, so I went up on the panel about five minutes after that little comment, and I thanked Richie for uh, saying I was more interesting than what's basically a screensaver. Watching OTW is watching a screensaver. So, Harmon, you know what a Coda child is? A Coda Fastest what? blowjob you ever had? Coda, C O D A. No. no. Child of deaf adults. Okay. Speaking hearing child of deaf adults, there was a guy named Thomas Davis Woodell who basically didn't really fit in anywhere. And, you know, when he got out of jail up in Michigan, came down to Florida one, you know, December. Well, he came down in October, but by December, my grandparents came in and uh, he went into their uh, trailer basically about three in the morning, tacked them. And long story it was actually the rental trailer next door. Long story, I'm not going to get into it. But well, that was uh, that was on New Year's Day. You said on New North Island. New Year's Eve, '96, a week. Harmon, why are you encouraging this? Well, because that's not normal. I mean, I wanted to hear the story. I wanted to hear what happened to his grandparents. Flo State, if it's not about him, he's got a fucking main character syndrome, just like Paul. Well, Scott, like D, I've heard like I've heard this them. story three times too. No, you haven't. I've only told it once. All right, I'll stop being insensitive it. because you managed to land on a story that I can't argue about without being a dickhead, so go ahead. <laughs> you are a dickhead, whether you argue or not. Um, <laughs> so, moving right along, what do you want to know, Harm? Just uh, so he got in there. Why are just, you gay? And they caught him and everything, so that was the, what they did. They, they didn't catch him. The maintenance men of the trailer park over on uh, right near Disney. This is this happened five min five minutes from Main Gate Disney. <clears throat> probably the guys just, that worked the trailer probably just park, they went through the trash. If they hadn't held up the big fucking truck to come empty them that day and gone through all these dumpsters at the front, they would have never caught this guy. Oh, it, so he it, threw them in the trash. You didn't miss that he, part. He, well, every every trailer in this, you know, it was a nice trailer park right outside of Disney. Every trailer a nice had a trailer. Trash hold, on, hold on, wait, no flames. You heard that phrase too, truck. didn't you? <laughs> Every, You're from Georgia. I would not have expected that one to bother you. 
No, no. I, I used to work as maintenance man for, for a number of trailer parks, different places. Well, this wasn't and, a trailer park. This is Outdoor Resorts of America. It's cross. It's it's a, it's basically like ORA. It was like was it uh, KOA trailers? or... Was it um, full of trailers? A lot. Well, early on, room. it was all motorhomes, and then a lot of park models came in in the last oh, that's year. Even worse, now that's now it's even worse, Now it's all this is, I mean, these trailers, fuck, they're still, they're selling like homes over there. There's right outside of Disney, dude. You can rent it's them like, out right. for a lot of money. That's, so anyway, that's he, what threw my grandparents the, he, threw doing. In, Scott, he threw them in the trash. He actually threw them in the bin. What he did with, uh, in the bin outside of his house, he put my uh, grandfather's wallet and car keys in a box of cornflakes. Oh, my fucking and, God, Scott. Okay. That wasn't the oh, question yeah. even. He, he asked how. Did, how did, did he throw your grandfather? Yeah, he, he, that's, how yeah. They, that's how they find, found out what trailer it came from because there was information that led back to his actual son that was, you know, the social security number and what. Yeah, but he didn't throw him in the trash. That's all I wanted to know. He didn't throw what one in the trash. Okay. If I die, somebody can throw me the in the knife trash. Was found, the knife was found in his sister's trailer in her bedroom behind the uh, dresser. I'm being held hostage on my own panel. Scott has yes, found a topic so that is that I cannot make fun of. I know, and I'm taking care of. <laughs> and so now he just he just is running, running with it. He's telling us about the keys and all and uh, the dog. I want to oh, point out the guy who murdered your grandparents was a total fucking moron. If he'd have taken a few minutes to, out of his day to plan it properly, Florida. aren't I glad oh. that he didn't? You, you want to hear the fun of the, the cops? No, I don't. But if, but if he had gotten away with it, we wouldn't have hold, on. Hold, on. hold on. I didn't interrupt. I want you. people in the audience to understand this is a power move that's happening right here. For for <laughs> for your four fucking listeners? Okay. Um there's 49. Sorry. You have four actual on, subs. On Rumble, Scott. On Rumble, I was thinking. Oh, Go yeah. tell me Shout out to Rumble. Rumble. Shout out to Rumble. So, I'm, I'm um, are you gonna land this? Are you gonna land this story? Or are you just gonna mosey around and enjoy uh, having the panel hostage? I got about a half hour left in me. Somebody better get that man life alert. <laughs> I still say that guy was an idiot. If he'd have taken five minutes to consider how to bur murder a couple of old people, he'd have done exactly what Scott says and not put the keys in a freaking bag of corn flakes. This was it was actually crazy. And all I was gonna say is no murdering people is sane. Obviously, he had a logical plan. Yeah. The uh, the cops sat in their car, and literally the maintenance man searched all this trash. When they found the evidence that led back to the guy, the cops went on the news and literally took credit for it. And I, to this day, can't believe that. It's you, so if you say the word literally one more time, I'm not Literally. Gonna, fuck you. It's not literal. It's Where's not Chuck? Literal. Chuck. <laughs> Come get, get him. Chuck Scott got in. Get him. <laughs> Well, no, like, oh, right, good. Grandma know. Lindsay's back with her not under boobs. <laughs> Every, uh, not Sasquatch and not Harmon, but the two of you are disappointing me tonight. Lindsay, they're being insensitive. No fucking shit. I, you know, well, uh, you know what? You're using you're using the story as like a body shield. You're using you've I'm got done, done with the, the story. story. Get over it, slow state. You're yeah, being a you little too. hard. You're being a little hard and controlling, but I can't say that. <laughs> Pause. Um, yes. Okay. Well, um, I'd like to apologize first of all for the quick disappearance. Chicken came to my doorstep, and it was either this or chicken. I don't blame you, and we've come to to expect these quick disappearances from you. There's no issue at all. <laughs> Dark meat or white meat? Show up. Did you like white? Show up? White meat. Stop Breast flirting, meat. Harmon. I was just asking, like dark meat or white meat. <laughs> <laughs> We heard it. <laughs> <laughs> and there was fries with it. I thought people, your statue and, and physique didn't eat fries. I eat lots of fries and lots of things that I want. Just don't yeah, eat chocolate. Of it. Lindsay, one second. You said statue. <laughs> he That's different from policy and code. They are There's picking a on you. There's oh, a I phenomenon with skinny girls that people think they don't eat and they always want to feed oh, them no. cheese. Lindsay, how many times do people say, I just want to feed you a cheeseburger? I didn't just mean people on here. Oh, just people on here? 
Well, oh, my I, brother, one I of my brothers. No, listen, listen, y'all, y'all are all off base. What you need to feed this girl is hamburgers, cheeseburgers, mustard and biscuits, some biscuits and gravy. She needs some spaghetti sauce and meatballs. Not needs- everybody likes their Waffle House waitress scattered all the way. <laughs> Let me like finish. That. She needs. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> we know Lindsay, you like can you him up while we're talking about you. No, I can't. I'm completely naked. Fucking a. Okay. So you'll show up. So you'll show you up. The stream. This is Grandma the loves you. You reach over and you end the stream. You hold on. I, I, since I don't trust her, I'm just going to tell y'all to choke on my yoke. I can still see her backstage. Go ahead, Lindsay. <laughs> Sick. What a dirt bag. Okay. How about this one? <laughs> Jewish missiles. I'm got a Jewish missiles. <laughs> that's just, yeah, I, yeah. I, I, <laughs> but they never hit you in the hair, so that's a good news. Terrible. I'm trying to in the hair. <laughs> I'm trying to yeah. change the topic here, but now I have no topic, and I tried, and it cannot work. So go ahead. You came up with chicken that your your DoorDash chicken got there. <laughs> yeah, it did. It did. No lie, and fries. I was excited. What what, what establishment did you order this chicken from? Chick fil A. Herman. Jeez. And do you know why they call it Chick fil A? Because everyone always asks that question. This is not fascinating, but it's changing the topic. Do you know what the the A stands for? No. I'll give you that fluoride stare. (laughs) What's it stand for? It's hard to focus with chocolate cocks on the um, stream. I'm sorry. There's your bullet. I got it. Oh, what a dirty mind I have. (laughs) Chocolate cocks. Those weren't chocolate, were they? Those were bullets. I see chocolate. Uh I see chocolate. She really really wants to put those in her mouth. How many licks do you get till they get to the middle, Lindsay? Cynthia, will you please duck up here and save me? Anyway, what's the A stand for? Call in your white knight. You're going to How many millimeters are too many millimeters in a day? Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Oh Yay. There she is. You know, I'm in control of the chat. Um, we da, have a da, da, high da. I'm still mad at alert, you, so. The chat's still actually mad. been relatively slow tonight. Have you all been having massacres down there? Hold on. I've not uh-uh. been I've not looked in YouTube, but in StreamYard, there has not been a lot of common activity. You guys okay. are shooting up the chat. No. Are you shooting up the chat? No. Okay. No, uh uh-uh. I just blo- you you we agreed the chat. We all agreed for 10 seconds, Tarek's comment can stand up. And then after 10 seconds, I take it down. So oh, I don't he, care what you do with Tarek. I <laughs> so he's Tarek. upset. Yeah. He was, he was, did you see him crying? Like, flow state. Cynthia said, son, son, son. Are you okay with that? I said, yeah. fuck yeah. You have nothing off limits, Tarek. You're going to not come over here to my chat and harass everybody and then cry victim because there is no lines. Anybody here can say anything they want to Tarek. Nothing's off limits. Hmm. Why are you mad at me, Sash Squash? Because you came up on my um, in my chat the other night, and I was like, "Hey, would you like to come in?" You was like, "Oh, I'd love to have a combo," and then left. And you never dropped the link. I hung there for like ten minutes, and I thought I was like, "Well, he's going to finish the segment." Oh, so you muted it? I see. Did you not check? (laughs) Yeah, I sat there, and I was like, "Uh, "Any second?" Okay. No, no, it wasn't muted. When you're in the shorts feed live streams. Yeah, I never understand that. It doesn't work properly. So if I'd have dropped the link in chat, you would have beat on the fucking link for 20 minutes going, it doesn't work. I don't know why it don't work. It's not working. That's what she said. (laughs) That's what she would have said. And then I would have had to have tried to email it to you. Just keep beating it. It'll work. (laughs) I had your email, so I emailed it to somebody else who has an email named What's Up, Cynthia, unless that's you and you're full of shit, and I am now angry. Oh, my God. I haven't checked that email in, like, what? What am I I I supposed to do? What what am I I supposed to do? Carrier pigeon, motherfucker. Carrier pigeon. God, I'm not trying to date you. But no, I don't care. But just like, (laughs) Everybody texts you look desperate. That's not the same day. number you gave me. That's because I got the real one. No, is that talk about right? dropping links? <laughs> the last two times it, I went to I, I don't, I don't know. I don't have your oh number. Oh my memorized. god, take it you down, take yourself. it down. 
Don't let Tarek up. Whatever you do, block him. He'll try to. Oh, get if it he, if he me. comes up now, he can't see the previous comments in the back chat. Okay. I yeah. definitely don't want him. Just to a I don't friendly care reminder, Flo. When you uh, on Rumble, the last two times I went there, you did drop links there. So just. I oh, I know. You know what? I need. I'm gonna get some water real quick, man. But when I do, nobody from Rumble ever comes over here. I don't think. Um, well, I, I I've been on Rumble. You deserve better than that from me. I got a oh. link coming your way. As an issue with Rumble, uh, most people can't use their phones to chat in Rumble, and none of the links actually work in Rumble on the phones in a lot of cases. I don't know why. I don't know what the issue is, but I might have 50 people in Rumble and six people in YouTube, and I'm thinking this seems a little bit twisted. So is there a way to resolve the link issue? I'll try it right now. Did you drop it? I haven't. Like I said, some phones don't work. Some do. Some will yeah, show you the link. And yeah. Work. Oh, yeah. Okay. I, I talk, I'm on my PC. PC's no problem because I've done it a couple of times. So you probably just phone. That new, that new YouTube shorts feed way is weird. You get stuck oh. in a weird group and you see weird people. Oh, did you see the short? Have you? Okay. No, not yet. No, I haven't seen it. What short? You need to tell the me what I just sent you. Uh -huh. You sent me something 13 seconds ago. You haven't opened it up yet, motherfucker. My gosh. Like, what, like, it came from you don't WhatsApp take this yeah. serious. You don't take this serious. Scott is not taking <laughs> his dog's health serious. Tell us <gasps> what you did to that dog. What'd you do? Right Fuck around, Scott. I'm petting him real close. He's nice and soft. Oh, Why do you have to spend with him? Why do you have to spend with him? What happened? I'm not Scott. really sure what happened. I think he ate my weed. You got into your drugs, didn't he? Oh my gosh. Cynthia, what do you think? You think Scott should not fuck around? She's paused. I think he might have lost his license to be a dog daddy. I can uh, hear his, I can hear the water bubbling right now <laughs> while we're Scott talking to him for his dog and his dope. Mm -hmm. Sounds like a good time to take a rip with the mic on. <laughs> <laughs> he went into the trash. That was just for sound effects. It wasn't real. Did you was, did you nobody see the short? Throws, no, 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 no. Nobody throws drugs away. No, well, I told you already. Correct, then we will flush it. it if police are knocking at the door. I will that is correct. I no. will flush. <laughs> I, I'll keep it. People who have a large amount of very high quality weed and they end up with a whole bunch of skunky shit up out of their bowl, they will throw that shit away after a few weeks. Or, yeah. or they will A, hide it in the ceiling if the ceiling lifts up, or B, put it Where in are we the going? Top what is this? Hide no, it. no, no. I'm just telling what? you all the things that I've been through. Uh, yeah, very things. rarely look in the back of picture frames mm, yeah, right. heard, or you can have a picture frame that door opens up and there's really okay. a compartment behind right. I'm going her level Flo, call me out if I start coming up short on this one All right. Okay. you need to hide your stuff and the cops are on the way and you know you should go directly to wherever your hot water heater is pop the little door off and throw that shit over behind it Close the door back up and go sit down and act like you wasn't doing nothing. Yeah. The 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 ceiling and the oven were pre K9 days. But and then the flush, well, it was K9 days, but I don't know. Like I feel like can the dogs can they still see off from the the because I think canines are bullshit. Too. Canines are just an excuse to do shit. They said the canines oh hit on the safe in my house. The canines didn't get out of the fucking car. People were watching. Oh. I used to train dogs. Canines yeah. are bullshit, but cops are. You can train a dog to be accurate. A dog is a cop. At that point, it becomes bullshit. You cannot train a cop to train a dog. All right. You guys want to know where you hide your shit? Okay. You're not going in your cops go through my house okay. three times. We don't have enough roles for this, Scott. It yeah, it's like real that. simple. I fucking poked a hole by accident in a fucking wall, a drywall wall with a door handle, and then I started thinking about it, and I took a little fucking hook, like, uh, not a hook, but a, um, an Allen wrench, and poked a hole at an angle, 
then got a fucking hanger and I could set that thing down there with my fingers and put it at the end of a hook down that wall. If I had any fucking last minute thing, did it probably 40, 50 times in life. Nobody wants that wall. Yeah. I mean, I, there's, yeah, there's lots of really inconvenient ways to hide things. I mean, burying is still tried and true. You could yeah, hide. No, 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 no. There's shit from the Stone Age that still hasn't been found buried. If dogs would have come in, I wonder if they would have smelled it. Never had a dog come in. That's always what I wonder. Dogs hit where they're told to hit. Exactly. That's what I. That's what I wonder. But in the wall, I always wondered. When you train a dog, listen. I've trained police dogs. When you train a police dog, before you can train them to find dope, you first must train them to alert. To train them to alert, you use a signal. That signal is supposed to trigger the alert posture. Once you've trained the alert posture, posture, you can train them to alert on certain circumstances. A dog does not know to lie, but a hot, cop. Hot chick, you want to How hard is it to train people to do these things? Like, could we never able to train a cop? No, no, I mean, I mean, like, could we Pavlov Scott? No. Scott's Good lost luck. fucking colors. This motherfucker's over there in his own goddamn world talking to himself. You're just a figment of his imagination. That's the, that's the case with a lot of people on YouTube. I'm not going to lie. I've always wanted to train my Don't dog. Don't lie to us, Cynthia. To tell me where everybody exist. else's I'm weed was. Lie. Like, I wanted to go to other people's houses and then have him alert me to where it was hidden and then come back and what you need is a crow to bring you need to train a crow to bring you back people's money hey i need you guys to hold on a minute i'm not sure whether or not to be upset with sasquatch over here or thank him for being honest with the rest of you i'm drunk and, and i'm like, gonna be <laughs> really really fucking honest i'm drinking vodka hmm. and i don't like it uh, hey i almost had an irish coffee because i'm on four days vacation this is what, day what kind of what I'm kind of vodka cream de la mint <laughs> Ooh. Oh, did you guys see Jeff's comment? He bought some jeans off eBay once and found eight Vicodin or ten Vicodin in the pocket. That's fucking brilliant. Oh, nice. That's, That's a good deal. Somebody stole my fucking jacket from the Ben store about a month and a half ago, and a fucking what did I have left? I think about seventy five dollars on Carabas. Fucking gift right. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm confused. Let, can you please clarify one point of that that particular piece of a story? How, why you was your jacket it? at the men's store? I left it there. Came back a week okay, later. Did you leave your thought. jacket at the men's store? A week later. It was. <laughs> Come on, a week. I go later there every week, so I actually that. thought that it would be there. And it hold on, I wasn't that worried hold about this it. This needs further delving. Flow state, may I? Yes, you're uh, you're leading back to get on the case. Why? Why do you go to the men's store every week? <laughs> it's a Ben Ben B I N. Ben store. I thought you were trying to be a man. I forgive you. No, he's doing the the five. You know, like the the. Shit that fell off of the semi trailers. Wait, and shit. No, this brings up more questions. I'm sorry. I, I apologize. Why How are, high you, are you? Your jacket at the fucking bin store. That's a totally that? different occasion. Because I, I, I like my mom used to go to this place, and I like the. You didn't give a shit. It. No, 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 no. Foul on the flag on the fucking play. No, you do I not get to pull one. sentimental oh. bullshit in and use your mom as a human shield for a She's question. She's show me this shit. I would have never known about it. But I like the family. That doesn't there. answer they, the they question. Actually, you have they run a church. And... Why did you leave your jacket at a place that you do not live, do not associate with, and only go there to spend money? No, I associate with them. I actually was working, not working, getting paid. I was helping them make some signs, helping them do some marketing. Like I actually turn. was doing the same thing just the other day. I helped them. What, Lindsay? You know, just not, nothing major. Just You, you know, know that I... You know how you can kind of hurt a cat if you've got a spray bottle? You can chase it around and eventually pinball it into where you want it to go. I'm out of water. Oh. <laughs> well, I'll drink to that. Pretty good analogy. Pretty I good. Just had a mouthful of water. I was lost. <laughs> I'm going to be talking about that one for a minute because this hey, is a so, little analogy. That's no. really. Cool. Well, listen, I used to have a girlfriend that reminds me of Cynthia. Oh my god! Cat. Oh my and listen, god! Listen, this is fucking crazy because she used to show her schnauzer. Like, what the <laughs> fuck? Okay, 
I'm not. I don't give a fuck. I can already tell you that now, but go ahead. <laughs> Man, I don't give a fuck about shit tonight. Ugh, like, let that be known. But go ahead and say it. Yeah, Kathy was, tonight was, either. Kathy Go ahead and say it. Kathy was pissed about this fucking schnauzer. Who's never Kathy? Winning, Why are we talking about Kathy? You want to hear what? this or not? No, I, I, can stop. Dude, I don't. No, not really. Scott, I mean, we don't. Giddy up. I'll, I'll we're going to be moving on to a different topic at the time. Um, I was well, talking about she came up here to give us one. And where'd she go? Who? Lindsay. She called She's you up and failed. She's, She's got real spot. interesting now. She's probably in well, the chat. Well, everybody knows I'm mad at her. Yeah, time, she's in the chat. I think she wanted to talk about that. Poop liquor. We mostly come here to jack off as well. I've jacked off two times since the stream started, and uh, my camera's been on most of the time. Harmon's, uh, Harmon's uh, camera angle is not accidental. He's not just hiding a dirty coffee table. He's hiding his hairy knuckles. Oh, yeah. My shit's in the dark because it's just I, uh, I don't want y'all to I see it. I invite watch in twice a stream. Just to make sure I pop off properly. I is, like is that, that, so that you make sure you're not hanging out in like and like sh cam girls things. With Dude, if I was, she'd blow me there too. I don't see the problem. Oh, uh, oh okay. I was, uh, I was about to respond, and then I changed my mind. No, you have to understand. Uh, I told my wife, my mother told my wife not to marry me. My father mm. told my wife not to marry me. I mm. told my wife not to marry me. She married me anyway. She's in this shit whole hog. It's, <laughs> it's not my decision. It was hers. She has bailed me out. She has. I was once drinking. So you're saying she's got so much sunk cost into you at this point that. Maybe, maybe you, you say that, but. She decided this before we got married. Apparently, she's told me the whole story while she was shit faced. But it's cool. We've got our our relationship is like mutual. Uh, I don't know how where my socks are. She she hides all my shit. She doesn't know where the money is. <laughs> I hide all of it. Yeah, this your story with your wife Sasquatch over. reminds me of Jesse Coulter and Whaley and Jennings. She said, "I married him. I knew what it was when I married him, and it took him ten years. He finally said, okay, 'Okay, I'm clean now.' She never hassled him or nothing." I got rained out on a job one day and I was taken back to a house that a friend of mine, uh, one of the other guys that were on the same job worked at, like, like he lived in. And apparently he was living with like two hookers. He gets there and another guy calls him up. It's like, Hey, I need you to install some stuff. So he's like, I'll be back in a couple hours. He leaves. My wife shows up to pick me up two hours later. I have downed a pint of Bacardi rum. Both the chicks in the house are naked and we're watching porn when she walks in the door. And I looked up at her and was like, hey, any chance we can get another pint of rum? She's like, no. I was like, okay. Sorry, ladies. I got to go. So I picked up my clothes and left. <laughs> Sounds like that's what Jesse Jesse said. I knew what he, he was. Did, did. <laughs> oh. Did you go to your boyfriend's house? What the fuck? If I did, I had more fun than you do in your quickest blowjob ever. I doubt that. Scott, you know that you won the poll for by 50% for most likely to be a trans. Yeah, in reality, I was most likely to get laid. So where are you going to go with that? Dennis? I bet you weren't. I guarantee you. I, I bet you weren't. Mm, I bet was. Herman was. <laughs> From jail? What? Uh, I thought he Harman, was in jail. Look, Harman, Harman, Harman been going down bitches since before he was out of school. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, first, uh, first milk I got when I was seventeen. She was. He like got. How the fuck do you get kicked out of Mormon church as a teenager for being too dangerous around vagina? <laughs> this is happened. a church that allows multiple wives, but this man got too much pussy to be allowed to stay in it. That's how we roll. I'll tell him, Harmon. That's no, how we roll. You're not a weed. Harmon. I know. I was like, what you is no idea. You have no have idea. You yes, that's what. Hold on now. Have you ever encountered a Mormon girl? Have I? <laughs> Me? Have you? Yeah. No. Just yeah. Float. No, I, I don't. Well, not that I know of. Um, I do. I do. I do like right. church girls. I do like church not girls. Church. No, 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 no. Not Everybody church girls. Everybody knows church Mormons, girls. Mormons, listen, Mormons do not consider anal as sex. 
Oh, I never heard a fucking that. South Park cartoon or something. <laughs> no, no, no. What was the girl's He's name? talking about the Greeks. What's her name? What's her name? The one that killed her Mormon boyfriend? Oh, that... Uh, what was went, her name? She was, it, it was so beautiful. She's so beautiful. I can't remember. I remember it was a big story. But... That's all they did was the Mormon sex that Sash was talking about. Well, I've never heard that. I mean, that's what sort of a fantasy. Hey, 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 you say what you want to fucking say. Jerry, <laughs> was nineteen date, uh, uh, Jerry, uh, Jody girl. Arias or something. Yeah, yeah Jody yeah, Arias. Yeah, yeah. That's, her, that's her. I was dating this chick <laughs> for like three weeks. Chick was like, "Oh, <laughs> horny? Yeah. I can help." I thought she was going to give me a freaking hand job, bro. <laughs> no. You know what my formula is for that? I think it's repression equals aggression. Hold on. We have a Mormon girl in the chat. Snow, can you confirm or deny this anal sex rumor about that? Not is this? Yes, it's true. I this is what she told me. She's like, oh, this isn't sex. Yeah, that was Joe. That was one me, and I signed up. I was like signing papers and shit. Talk <laughs> about missing the fucking point. Yeah, Snow, get up here. I mean, yes, no. please come on up. Right. Snow, come up and she tell got, us about butt sex in the Mormon church. She got <laughs> the point and the tip. That's not what I meant. What yeah, did Joe you mean? What were you saying? <laughs> Because Jody wanted to do it regular way. It's Jody Ariolas. But you know what's funny about her? Ariola. <laughs> what's funny about her is they had okay, I only get this from the documentary. They didn't have missionary mm -hmm. boring sex. They had fantastic, you know, um, you're a bad little Mormon kind of sex. And he yeah. loved that was the problem. That was what attracted to him to her. And he was trying to stop her in the name of his dedication to the Lord. But this little vixen was, you know, giving him all kinds of trouble in the shower and on the bed and over the washer in the backyard. And then he just felt subject to temptation. Oh. Women are evil. Look, a washing machine is a vile and diabolical creation. You plop a girl up on top of that thing, <laughs> let it Spin cycle. Sir, <laughs> we had subwoofers in Kansas City. I don't know about Georgia. Spin cycle only counts. <laughs> <laughs> Cynthia, tell oh, us about your experience sitting on on uh, no, it's not interesting. You remember Christy Alley from uh, that uh, cheer oh, show? Yeah, yeah, she, she says her it. ideal Scientology. death, would be, yeah, she said her ideal death would have been on back of a Harley going 100 miles an hour, slamming into a wall. <laughs> so that was her fantasy. Of course, she's dead now, she died, right. She did? Oh, she did. Yeah, she died. She was in. She, uh, she loved those Harleys, though. She says those Harleys do something to a girl that nothing else will. She was in Scientology <laughs> with uh, what's his name, Is Travolta, and a bunch of them others. Oh um, yeah, she lived she down was. there. Yeah, she was down there by there. Lived down there. Yeah, right on the Harley, Cynthia. No, but Herman, I don't know if that would be good. That, um, that, that, uh, that, that a Harley, because then if you just grew accustomed to the Harley, you wouldn't want a man no more. Like, how about you, Lindsay? Bad. You ever been riding a Harley? Really? You have really bad men in your area, right? I, it's hard to no, because I think wouldn't it be a different how hard form a Harley of vibrate? Um, I've never rode a Harley. Like, wouldn't it be a different form of? There's that to um, miss. Like rubbing or friction or something versus. I'm just telling the one of the lady told her story. She what told her you story. just need to do is get a Sibian or whatever the you know the Sibian. I'm Sibian. not sure rest. <laughs> I'm not What's being. I don't Sibian. know what they're called. All I know is that the best dildos look like microphones. Well, the uh, thing is, you can't, you can't hide it under the bed. If you, you listen very closely, you ride the best. If wired, ride a mile and walk the rest. If you listen very closely to the panel, you can tell who has a vagina. And who doesn't? <laughs> Can By the wind whistling through them when the rest yeah. of us meet up? That's not it. It's not <laughs> a hollow. <laughs> By the way, you, know, you if, just if need you, to listen. If I mute everybody and then we unmute people one by one, you can hear the vaginas. It sounds like the ocean. If you whistle, you can hear the echo. <laughs> 
Oh, they're all laughing. Hey, hey flow state. state. Get this, get time to pick. Big vagina jokes are funny. <laughs> <laughs> a big Close vagina. State, you know what a tramp stamp is? Yes. Uh, everybody, shut the fuck up. You know what a tramp? Do you have one? Really? I apologize for that very point. I'm going to continue talking until Flow State. Do you have a tramp stamp? Caucasian Skyswatch. Do you have a tramp stamp? You have a tramp stamp, don't you? Hey, no you know pick up a seashell. Do you hear the ocean? If you pick up a girl and listen to the tramp stamp, you'll hear the daddy issues or fucking Sasquatches. Issues. Oh boy! Oh god! Yeah. <laughs> Lizzie, have you ever wrote on a Harley? You had to write on a Harley. I sure did. Okay, thank you. That's She's just job. saying that because she doesn't want you to say, this is my Harley. Cynthia no. said the key thing here, which all of you missed, is she was describing motions. And if you have a vagina, you know which motions <laughs> are the most important. Wap, 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 wap. Oh, See, but I don't think Harley <laughs> says that. Fast <laughs> in, fast out. Surprise sex, so, baby. And if I'm caught but in that. But what if we had a vagina? The reason right. I asked Lindsay. Hold on. Lindsay, look, Sasquatch, Lindsay does know more about vaginas than us, probably. Lindsay, Lindsay. tell us about vaginas. Well, the Cynthia reason, was just going to be willing to do it, so I'll pass it on to her. Well, the reason I asked Lindsay is because I had once heard, like, I don't know where, but they were saying that if it's a woman who likes to touch herself and you do that too much, you're actually, like, throwing your senses off. Because now you're more pleased by that and not the actual act itself because it's two different things. Like Even though it's the same results. Huh? Overstimulation. That or I just didn't, like, I didn't understand. Like, it just, they just said it's going to mess it up the other way. Like, you're going to be too stimulated by that and not by the real thing. Otherwise, so. I think what she's saying is that you, she can stimulate herself a whole lot better than a guy could. And she get used to herself and not used to a guy anymore. No, that's exactly what she said. No, what but I'm saying it, it's not necessarily <laughs> from the feeling. It's just that your body's used to this touch now, and it's not oh so much around by so that. What kind of dildo is the most addictive? Well, I it don't have has to do with. I have a whole theory about the plastic but, entering, so, so, and then yeah, if I gotta doesn't... go clean it, what the why? I don't want to go clean it. You go clean it. I don't. <laughs> I don't. I don't, don't want to. What, what's the it? Okay, Cynthia, <laughs> I will clean it. But you have to do what I tell you to do. No, I'm. I don't want to play that. No. <laughs> but um, you don't play well with others. That just doesn't like. I'm not putting any. Like I have a friend, and I went to her drawer one time, and it was like in her bottom kitchen drawer, and I was like, "What the fizzox?" And she was like, "Well, I don't want the kids to find it, and they What's never a come." To if you don't have a vagina, and I'm not talking to you, Cynthia, because you are obviously not for <laughs> obvious reasons. Mm -hmm. Motion is is a different and important um, component to it. It's not just, boy, you can't really talk about this without getting like overly neurotic and erotic or rather. You know, this current. We're not being neurotic. You were talking just fine. And then you just decided it was that people were being too neurotic while we're listening to you. I meant um, erotic. Okay. There's different kinds of motions. There's, there's the in and out. There's the side to side. There's up and down. And there's each one stimulates a different area. Right. And some people are more sensitive with the man in the boat <laughs> than others. Wow. Some people get really sick of that motion. I, I, hopefully I'm not getting Mr. Flo in trouble. No, no, she's asking me questions about the church girl thing. And I'm just responding quickly because I don't have time to read her big ass questions. And then she's like, talk. Teenagers. There's more complexity to it. Men just like to go in and out, and that's enough for them. Yeah. I was hold, on. Hurt. Hold, on. hold on. I don't that's, like that's to... with other men because if you spend the whole time just the whole in and out thing, <laughs> we're, we're not going to be friends. <laughs> so, like okay, yeah. point taken. <laughs> I once heard so. that, like, if you take your oh. finger and stick it and rub oh, your yeah, ear, girl skirts are okay. I, I'm with you now. I just click things into place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good too. The Catholic school girl, girl out for uniforms. Yeah. What? Every woman should have one of those. I have it. Yeah, the but plaid, the plaid oh, skirts are oh, good. The what? knee socks are good. That's the best thing that came from the Catholic Church. Oh. I think there uh, are battle shoes. Battle shoes. 
Do you say battle shoes? Saddle. Saddle <laughs> shoes. They were like <laughs> back in the day, okay. the girls at the Catholic shoes used to wear those black mm. and white Girl, saddle we shoes. We can't. We'll just do this on my panel. You're right. We can't. No, you can oh, do it no. here. Uh, later, you fucking I would love. gladly watch both of you do it. Oh my <laughs> Where the fuck? <laughs> you know what? Half price on Scott. <laughs> Dude, you just earned yourself a uh, 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 <laughs> So my, my point I was trying to make before we got um, the giggles, which is perfectly understandable, is the Harley provides a certain type of stimulation that is just, shall we say, non-productive. It doesn't feel oh, bad, but it's just not. Because it's pistons, just you're just bouncing up and down. Basically. So it's not an alley. And so they're Allie, purposely uh, set to a miss. It's just different. She just, that's something she was saying to be funny, I'm sure. But she was talking about that. I heard that she can only come with a finger in her butt. So that's probably the problem. <laughs> well, I think you will do. That, um, <laughs> Lindsay, <laughs> what would you do <laughs> if you were with a guy and then he said, you know what I would really like is if you stuck your finger. Like, A, what are you doing? And B, are you going back? You lost me somewhere in the middle of a story. I think where you she didn't said if the, the guy brain. asked you to stick She glitched brain. out after you explained the scenario. So he is, he asking, is, is he asking me to put a finger in his butt? Yes. Oh boy. Damn, you're demanding it. Yes. <laughs> God, do I love him? You, like, what are you doing? <laughs> I <that>? love him, <laughs> right? Like, I used to work for had a coworker, and that was Don't a rumor it. about him. him. And all the women were it. like, well, "You know, he likes." And I always was like, "Is there you another know, way to, to stimulate the, do the prostate? I mean, y'all do it. Like, you're so in the moment. You're like, yeah, okay. Well, I have to ask the men here. They're the ones that have had fingers in their butts. So, I mean, no, I've, I've. I've never had a finger in my butt. I don't know how people stumble across this. What if Mrs. Flo was feeling very adventuresome? I asked Mrs. Flo sometimes to put a finger in my butt because I know that she won't do it, and I like just pushing boundaries. If she, if she accepted, I would freak the fuck out. No, <laughs> it's a surprise. No. She's, I told what you she's she adventurous. What if she tell you, though? What if yeah. the last time well, you How loose do you think my butthole is? How what? Why? Fingers. It's not, just, it's not just like hanging open there. She can't just... Bro, like, shut the fuck up. You've been to prison. Two fingers easy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but all I had to do was squat and cough. Notice he goes for the logistics when he doesn't want to answer the question. That, that's when no, he gets... I had a chick He's like, how many finger fingers? Butt. It could not be done. I stepped on her head jumping out of the hot tub. Oh. Okay. I know this from experience. You cannot sneak a finger in my butt. Um, but what was your original question? How how do you like what do you like? I'm leaving. Oh, like I'm. I'm, I'm sorry. A, whatever, whatever. But Carmen, I'm then they're smirking. <laughs> like I guess. Uh, Maybe you. Know, gonna, I guess they won't. I guess Cynthia won't put a finger in my butt now. <laughs> but I'm so leaving. What did, like, what did you do, Cynthia, when this like, guy no, told you? This? Cynthia, yeah. what'd you do when the guy asked you this? What'd you do? No, it was a coworker. It was a coworker, and he always oh, he dated three girls, and two of them said that about him. And I always would sit in there in my head. Thinking, As an observation. As an observation. Come up, I mean, what would, what would you, I do in this situation? What would you do? I, would, I would leave. I'd be like, hey, I'm what sorry. What if he agreed? What if he agreed <laughs> to settle for a pen? There you go. You think I would waste a pen up a rectum? <laughs> Never. I don't know. Pin. People do all sorts of weird shit. Have you looked at the categories <laughs> list? But on I'm addicted site? to pins. <laughs> I wanted to be in the Guinness Book of World Records for pins. I wouldn't waste a pin up a Anything butt. Anything is a dildo if you're brave enough, Cynthia. I say this at least two times a stream. <laughs> well, I'm not coward. brave. I'm yeah. not brave. We're all cowards. <laughs> um, I do the terrorist but, pock, but here's pock, the thing. Pock, I do want to say, there is a, because like, I remember hearing girls talk about certain guys like and it was all the girls would say the same thing about the same guys, right? It's not like it's just rumors that fly around about everybody, right? So I, there are dudes that somehow figure out they're into that and they stay into that. Yeah, well, he 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 was in prison for a while, but he also had seventeen <laughs> kids. 
Well, that's 17. <laughs> yes. He's who's he? And he's who he had time to make from. 17 kids and he was in prison. Yes. This dude started having sex young. <laughs> young, young. I've even seen him on one of the crime shows. One it of his Harmon. No, one of his wives uh was 87, 187, and he was on one of the crime shows. Do you know who she's talking about? El Chapo. No, Chapo. no. not Chapo. <laughs> But I was always, because see, he had 17 kids. So I was like, well, some women are really into that because every couple of years, he's, I'm having another baby. And, but. How many different women? Uh, have I'm, any idea? I'm not. How I'm vanilla. I'm vanilla it can't baby. Be, look, it can't <laughs> be worse than sucking a dick. Well, you know. What? I'm That's speculating. Fun. <laughs> <laughs> Other stuff isn't. Half price on Sasquatch. <laughs> I don't know where Chuck's at. These <laughs> Chuck's leaving me up here with fucking Scott all night long. I wanted to talk about the control um, stuff with you, Cynthia, yeah. but I'm not sure right. it would be appreciated on here. I'm fine with it. Are are we? Have we? Have we covered all the angles of sex motions? Of butt sex, um, probably no, not. No, no, just hey. just you were explaining Bro, vaginas and like in the ins and outs, the right, the, the figure different eights, the up and downs, the inside outs, and the inside right. browns, and whether one thing is needed or both things. The ring around the rosy. The you no, guys no, don't know yet. it by now. <laughs> and Cynthia, yeah, we have a lot we were talking about. I like that about you, Cynthia. Nothing plastic goes in you. I like that. Hell, what? Harmon, I'm... I no. like that you don't, don't do that. Know. Show us your toothbrush. I'm, I'm complimenting you. Show us your toothbrush. <laughs> it's not down there. It's not going in down there. Not there. No plastics for her, man. They cause birth defects. Well, because let's just, is that even sanitary? A, number one, let's say you clean it and then you put it somewhere okay. that's dirty. You and clean your mouth and clean your teeth with it. No, I'm, I'm but and then I'm, you but, set it on the counter by the toilet. No, I and it's fecal coliform all over in a the thing. The cleanliness factor clean it once a week with hydrogen peroxide. Again, you put some more on it and put it back in your mouth. So the question is, yeah, no. What do, you, what do you do with a horny panel when you're just trying to have a conversation? What do you do? Put yeah, a banner and everybody start masturbating. I got you, Olin. I'm coloring. I'm coloring right now. That's not going to cut it for most of us. <laughs> <laughs> Unless it's a really good picture. Um, It's of flowers. <laughs> but, um, yeah. Sex therapy session. Oh, yeah, you were saying. Angela oh, Baby Carson. It's with her fake oh, boobs, who announces it here. when she's having talk to us about this. And, yes. Angela said that we're gross when she's... She, uh, trumpets her fake boobs and then lets the panel know when she's leaving to go have sex now. She has fake boobs, Which, they look very natural. Oh, they're yeah, they're good looking boobs. Um, nice, and, job. We all, and we all and we all appreciate her live streaming her sex. What, Angela? I thought you can peaches, yeah, she does. What the well, fuck you think that just means? <laughs> you you she's saw one peaches. One 83 year old lady on panel, and these guys are gone. They're done. Ladies like the rim job. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Butthole Winker is one of the guys. He knows how to make it win. Hey, hey oh, Butthole, yeah. come up here because you could answer. If you're in the midst of playing hide the sausage, and then you're like, hey. And shout out to you and your confidence, by the way, the uh, other week when you got down in your underwear and started dancing, like, you know, I don't know. Uh, John Travolta. That'd be a good analogy. Lindsay's brought this up several hey, times. I wait, think you need to move the whole winker. I think I've seen that. I was there. I saw that. <laughs> Probably. Yeah. Would you not agree? That was not John Travolta. <laughs> that was John Candy. <laughs> oh, damn. Yeah. <laughs> but I, I and I don't really know the guy except for these brief obscure interactions. But I I feel like I know him well enough to know that he would eat asshole. Uh -oh. He would also want a finger in it. Like butthole winker. <laughs> butthole winker. We got a question for you, Cynthia. Ask him. 
Please come on. Well, oh, I was trying to. <laughs> so you're in the midst of playing hide the sausage with Mrs. Butthole Winker. And then you say to yourself, ooh, baby, you know what I would like if you, I don't know, took your finger and ran it down my back and then through the crack and then went in. <laughs> like, how does how does that come up? And have you ever had a situation where they were like, um, No, no. Like, you want but leave us. I, I just left something in my car. I'll be right back. And they left. Like, how is this going down, butthole? Butalingus. <laughs> hey, guys, I'm really tired. I'm going to play the old man. Yeah, I'm tired, too. Oh, I don't blame you. <laughs> Harvard's going to come down. He's going to be like, man, this fucking, these younger people suck. Dude. Although we're not guys, even. You're trying to talk about people and be gossipy. Y'all want to talk about this. Maybe he's turned on. You know, don't sell the guy short. Oh, yeah, Harmon. I am slightly aroused. <laughs> and drunk. <laughs> I'm told that I am a cunning linguist. <laughs> oh, Snow's asking for the... Um, do you have one of Mr. Pie? I heard about it and never seen it. Hold on, hold on. They're both... Both Mr. Pie and Mr. Winker happened in the same stream. It was a big gay stream. <laughs> sure was. Don't but it was profitable, shit. so. And Scott was there too. That would make it extra, no, extra juicy. <laughs> I feel kind of bad yeah. that we chased Harmon off. And oh, okay, not, you're, you're here. What okay. time is it? Twelve thirty. It's them. Ten thirty. He did go golfing that's today. Oh, that's tiring. Scott, did you have something to say? Because I'm I'm out of words. You guys are about to chase me off. Oh, bye, Scott. Well, Scott, you burned up a lot of talking tokens by co-opting the panel with your uh, story that's bulletproof. About freaking... Yeah, that lasted so about three and a half minutes in total time that I talked. The rest was you guys, and it was... Oh, I thought he was saying the... he last three and a half that's minutes. All right. <laughs> I was, I'm like, that's pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, you, you, you I'm just curious right. what you do for the other two and a half minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Don't choke, Sasquatch. Spit it out. <laughs> so, Sasquatch, I like it that you laugh at your own jokes because I do that too. So if no one else is laughing, it's totally okay. It's still funny, you know, to he us. He can't hold it back. He's got a belly laugh rolling there now. Oh, that's right. There's not going to be able to stop this for a minute. <laughs> I guess it's time for our control talk since I, unless, unless the beehole wants to step up here and defend his, his own beehole. Butthole surfer. Are we gonna go there or not? We'll go where we can go wherever. I don't care. I'm we just getting. I'm getting the link. I this is the link that I just put in the chat to the uh, Mr. Pie. That's the big gay stream. So you got oh, 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 to go wear the mask. The mask. Yeah. <laughs> that was the night that I was a gay pimp. I mean, I wasn't gay. I just pimped dudes out. It's Very like Mr. Pie took a mushroom and said, ooh, there's Flo. I'm going to go on his live. And then we watched the whole. That would take more than a mushroom. <laughs> <laughs> I think he takes more than a mushroom. <laughs> well, I don't know how to dice them out. or. It's hard, it's hard to, to see how hard they're <laughs> tripping when they're wearing their Guy Fox mask. <laughs> so Although funny. that should be a pretty good sign in and of itself. But it was pretty funny. <laughs> Mindful, you got to get up here. You know it. Um, you're about to take control of something. Oh. No. Fuck oh. my world. These guys are so Who's boring. About to take control? What happened in the world today in the fucking universe with the uh, panels and shit? I've been trying to stay away the from drama? This the drama. Yeah, I got. I got a dog. Call. Yeah, we know what you did to your dog. Oh, and I, know, I, think, I feel bad. Yeah, we were actually trying to talk about. And I can't now. sleep. Carpe the DMs, Lindsay. Okay, Cynthia, are you there? Mm -hmm. I've got, I've got lay permission. <laughs> nice. I like the way you said it. Today. A little okay, French stop. and a little Spanish. Mm -hmm. So we oui, we. Oui. We were talking a little bit. Um, Flo I'm on to screen tell you about... on that. Let it go. <laughs> Let it go. They Please. can't help. They just can't. 
Go ahead, Lindsay. I, I am listening. Okay. To rewind just a little bit, um, Flo and I were kind of joking, kind of, about mm -hmm. control and control issues and to what extent is it an issue, et cetera, et cetera. And now we've got something going on with you and Tarek or Tarek. I don't know how you mm -hmm. want to say it. Mm -hmm. And I was agreeing with you when you brought up the issue of control because it's like salt or pepper. You add too much and it's destructive and has no utility and it's a complete fail. You mm -hmm. add a little bit of it and it can be sexy or it can be, it can work depending on oh, the partner Sorry, you're working with. Are you out on this? No amount of pepper and sex is a good thing. <laughs> this is true. Um, okay, pause. pause. Yeah, now yeah. I got to reverse that on you, Sasquatch. Have you ever had a girl sneeze during sex? <laughs> it's not the sneeze. <laughs> it's, the, the, it's, the, it's, the, it's the atomic Kegel that happens at the sure, same time. Sure. Kegel, I'm down Kegel, for that. I will take the bruise. Right, we'll we'll just do this tomorrow on my live. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we're doing it now. We just have to sort out why sneeze sex is so awesome first. <laughs> that, well, I just, it's okay. Um, go ahead, Lens. I guess I just wanted to discuss that control <laughs> is on a continuum and it can be, it can work and it can be great depending on the dynamic between the two partners, mm -hmm. or it can be overbearing and counterintuitive and blow it's everything. Really limited on it's, the two partners thing. Why don't, why don't you expand a little bit and buy some friends over? <laughs> what the fuck? I don't. I, I feel you, like you're describing a paradigm that's obvious. Correct. Well, what I'm doing is stating some backup info. Okay. And because I'm trying to talk about the continuum of control and how it can work and how it cannot work. So I just okay. made a small example, which is very obvious to the audience. But from here, I think we were going to take it to Tarek and Cynthia. What is too much control and what is the control issues surrounding you? Because I have my own take on that, too. And I want to hear Ooh. the guy's feedback too. I haven't been paying a lot of attention to the to actually a Tarek at all. Hey, do you uh, remember last night when he came up and said that my name's in a report? Do y'all remember that? No, like I said, I don't really pay any attention to Tarek <laughs> at all anymore. I haven't watched. You feel like I, he's I trying to control you. Where I'm at. He's playing games. He is trying to control things. He, he's I trying to control me. What's last night? I was this? trying to trying to share with you is that where he lost it with me as you know when you're friends with someone you don't try to <laughs> but Cecil. sometimes, just give it sometimes you slip up i give up I give up. Yeah. <laughs> it, like i don't let's see what's uh, going Lindsay, on i can't like, Lindsay, I stay can't on the it. course and stop being so dramatic can continue Lindsay. i feel like a dog you haven't huh? been beat enough to be a dog that's what? the magnum, magnum opus of control on the upper that. We we can work together to make this a thing. If you wish to be hey, a dog, you still have that dog collar. <laughs> I got the leash. So <laughs> the that need collars. Ew. See, so I don't oh, even want to ask, but why? It's why rocky. do you have this mask? Not why are you wearing it. Why do you? <laughs> it's Rocky, it? not Cecil. <laughs> <laughs> that's Rocky. What is it? That's Rocky. Oh my yeah. god, that's even worse. That <laughs> makes it far better. You just insulted him. What are you the doing right now? Out of <laughs> you couldn't have Rocky, said anything worse. Oh no, you're just another brick in the wall. Snow, it's almost impossible to cause sneeze sex. It you just have to have to hope and hope you're in the right place in the right time. Oh, you're silly. All um, you need is a girl a time. What was that, Sasquatch? You said do you, it in bright sunlight. You just need a girl with allergies. That's all. Just know what her allergies are, buy her a cat. Turns out it was peanuts. <laughs> <laughs> Harsh. Oh. <laughs> Dark humor. All right. Cecil, so how are you doing down there? You um, do you have a pillow yet, or you just gonna lay on the wall for bed tonight? We're putting them to sleep. Never mind. Some people don't like to talk a lot. He's part of the brick in the wall. He's becoming. And the this is why. 
this is why people think you are the most likely person to have bodies hidden in their house when I do polls every time by <laughs> Why do you have that? Why do you have that, Rocky? That is a very... Uh, uh, I blew your cover. I had to look at your verification thing, and I thought I thought that you were too creepy to leave everyone else in suspense. I have to. So I watch one of my crime shows. Can we get back to control? You know how they have the new face imaging technology, mm -hmm. and it was three men of <laughs> color who got masks similar to what Rocky had. And they were robbing banks, and they could not Hold figure. Oh, you're out. gonna have to be more clear than that because men of color covers a whole lot of spectrum. Yeah, well, that they were different. There was like an Indian <laughs> guy and a black guy. Well, That's man. why I said men of color. And oh, just, but their, their, their things I were like that. exactly like Rockies, but they were white. But they kept doing the face recognition on them, and they couldn't. Hold on. Wait, no. You said men of color that were white. I'm now completely disbelieving your story. I don't think it's the thing. You see Rocky's thing? It just came up with that. Cup. That was the exact type of mask, but it didn't have that creepy burn look. But it was that, <laughs> that mask type thing. And I was thinking, is Rocky out here robbing banks? Like, why do you have that mask? Because those type of masks will throw off the face. Hold on, Rocky. I because got he it. likes to see the terror in people's faces <laughs> when they, when he comes out the backseat of their car. That's a good answer. But the best one is just in case. Yeah, but that's yeah, the, they see. throw off the face recognition. See. Look, and those aren't cheap masks. Like those no, they're just... not. I know. Um, I am. I was also wondering why he had that, but I just felt like it's not worth asking publicly now. Um, if, oh, because uh, I don't know. Those aren't cheap. Those aren't, and he has multiple. Why Rocky has this creepy ass uh, expensive? Oh, you mask can't on? tell me Rocky's not out here doing crime, looking in windows. It was an old white guy. It was a guy that was burned in the face. Scott's over here leaving his jacket at clothing stores. And then Rocky is like, oh, I don't know. I'll keep a lookout for him if you want me to. He's probably over there talking to his neighbors. Lindsay, will you fix this panel? Can we be fixed? Watch up, um, man. She tried. She really did. I mean, take control, Lindsay. Honestly, I think that I'm probably the best candidate for fixing. Like, I think that there's still a hope for me. You're lying. Cynthia, that? I don't know. I don't know. No. I'm what? Not, I'm probably What's wrong with me? I you... like me just the way I am, and I think I'm getting better each day. You have boundary issues. <laughs> If I don't like plastic inserted in me, that's my right, my body, my choice. But what if somebody else feels the same way about their body, but you have a differing opinion? I suspect then. Yeah, that is. I'm just true. saying, you'll shove it in where you want, and that's your country. Yeah. Well, no, I'm not. I don't know. Hey, if, if the president can wear a mask, I can wear a mask. <laughs> Good point. Oh, did you see me uh, fuck up Trig with the uh, Michelle Obama's <laughs> dick thing? I actually thought they were going to shoot you on the panel. <laughs> <laughs> Carrie. <laughs> you did just went up there and insult their queen. <laughs> I was like, oh my God. I was laughing so hard. Y'all be cool. <laughs> But the man get you know back. that they tried to send Brian O'Shea that they were like Brian, that's Cynthia's pimp. Hit hit the panel, hit the panel. But he he never. First of all, he what wouldn't happened? have lasted. <laughs> he wouldn't have lasted in that panel. But he they were encouraging Brian O'Shea to hit his panel today. Yeah, people. Uh, God, Brian Who's O'Shea there? just like made himself a really fun target, didn't he? Uh, okay like a he he's something's going on like he's in a frenzy right now he needs money like he's trying to get this page he up is. and at him he seems he, like, like he's, he's on hard. the head is he doing more on the black thing yeah what do he do now 
He's just doing the same thing today. I see, I seen him on three of uh three of my homies' panels, and they all were yelling and cussing him out. I for bet. Paul, was he going out for Paul? And <laughs> yeah, you just doing his same same. That sucks. That's. But it doesn't make sense. He's not even being classy about it. It, it, it. He's not being tactful about it. He's not being like he's no strategy. He's just running into the wall thinking he's going to make make progress. Like he he doesn't have a plan. He's just frenzying right now. He's just trying. He's trying to get attention. He's trying to get his page going. He's streaming all the all the time. He's driving. He's streaming. I didn't even know his car uh, ran. I heard that he re was restreaming me one night. Yeah, yeah he restreams everybody. It's insanity it, based. It's not good. I mean, it, it's fun to laugh at, but it's kind of sad to watch. Like, it's like, bro, like you're crashing right now and we're watching it. Yeah, people crash. Bad things happen to good people, and sometimes bad things happen to bad people, and that's preferable. <laughs> Yeah, I guess. You got to keep a positive view on things in life. Uncle Fatty, tell him. Give him the business. The only legitimate use for creamy good. peanut butter ever. Creamy peanut butter is only good for milkshakes and smoothies. Period. See you tomorrow, the Brett. <laughs> no, I've got a reason to buy the cream of peanut butter. <laughs> Thanks for telling me that, Fatty. I, yeah. I, that, I really appreciate that because there was some peanut Uncle butter. Uncle Fatty likes to, like to taste those nuts more than I do. Oh, I prefer creamy peanut butter and everything. Mm -hmm. Oh, you have to have you have to have nuts in your peanut butter. Creamy peanut butter and strawberry jelly. This is the mm -hmm. way you make a fucking sandwich. Fatty just fucking laid it down. That's yeah. what I need the peanut butter. That's awesome. Mm. When you need 4,000 calories real quick. Reserves. Mm -hmm. I don't need 4,000 calories real quick. I do. Hey, Sarah. Sarah. What? Sarah. Hi, Sarah. <laughs> and then Scott Hi, Mr. Hank. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Because I, I wasn't sure if I was a de de degenerate. Oh, we all gotta turn it back. Don't worry. We're yeah. all degenerates around here. Yeah. All right. Cool. 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 Apple well, jelly. That's not even a thing. Mm -hmm. Yes, it yeah, is. Why wouldn't that be a jelly? Apple yeah. pear. I've never. Right. Had, I, I don't know. It, it seems like it should be, but I've never seen apple jelly. I've never heard Green of apple, apple jelly. jelly. Oh, baby, you have not been to the oh. you can maybe you can maybe get away with creamy peanut butter with orange marmalade. Orange but marmalade anyway. is gross. I don't know. Blood orange. Orange marmalade tastes marmalade. like orange peels. Yeah, it's what it's made out of. Yeah, Angela says yeah, she's yeah. make apple butter. Mm. I don't know. Creamy peanut butter works on Ritz crackers with a little bit of honey on top of it. Um, and nipples. Just and apple nipples. nipples. A little and touch nipples. of cinnamon. That's all you need. I have mm. a FedEx friend who said if you need to mail a certain plant to a friend and don't want to be chased down just because you're mm -hmm. mailing a plant that you can take an empty peanut butter jar wash it out and mm -hmm. put your wow. little plant in there and mail it safely what do you think of that you think it would work yeah, he said it absolutely. works because dogs because can't I know people it, who it, it absolutely works as long as the, it. That, the oh, post yeah, office yeah, absolutely works. i had a friend try to mail me bullets he tried three different times he, in, in different boxes. I, they have Ew. some weird ass what? Yeah. He, he even, once the last time, he wrapped, individually wrapped each individual bullet um, and then packaged them up. He said yeah. the boxes were never open. They just slid them through and they said, no, we can't ship ammo. Yeah, <laughs> Stephen, you have to up like, and let slap on the hand. No big let deal. Let Lindsay oh. analyze you. That'll be fine. Interesting. That'll be fun. This has been a slightly disturbing stream tonight so far, I think. No. Yeah. Really? <laughs> That's just no. I haven't noticed. I mean, Lindsay, it's not like you're not contributing. I don't have any I don't have any um comeback for that because it's kind of true. She has nothing to say. <laughs> I would like Stephen to come up because Finally. he has a lot to say and just kind of get it over with. 
call us all names and you know just tell us how awful we are so you can Steven get it on David? the system. Isn't no, he Steven the David doesn't do or that. are you talking about the sanity machine? Sanity machine, obviously. Oh yeah, no, I've he knows the deal. He's cut this is and it's the stream's not over yet. He's come since he came up on panel that one time, he's come to every single stream and sat backstage and tried to get on panel. I he knows yeah. the deal. He's That's gonna okay. cash out me twenty dollars if he ever okay. wants to get on panel. It's his tithing because the king only rules at the pleasure of the Pope. <laughs> Hi, baby. King. Hank Hank gets it. It's not the 20 bucks. What? It's he will submit you. before he gets access to my panel. It's about control. Yes. <clears throat> Common Dan. Now on O'Shea, I think it's just funny. I think he's just trying to get more stuff, more comedy material. That, Do you think he's funny about it? Has his comedy developed? Has he uh, created skits from it? Have he's you, really, really early on. He's really uh, early on, on his own. It makes him feel good. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So if I, it makes him feel good, good, superhero. That's right. So I'll give him a pass on his awkwardness because he's really early on and it's developing his next set. And that you gotta experiment quite a bit. What this is a fifty-year-old man. If he's not funny by now, you can't. Yeah. It's hard to be funny when you're depressing. It, when you say he's early on in this, are you meaning a in communicating with black people or b comedy? He said creating no. a set. He's creating a set for. He's his early comedy. on, and he. This is Keanu Reeves. He recently was bitten by a zombie. He's early in the transition. You can still tell that this is Keanu Reeves, but every day he's looking more and more like a zombie. I thought it was gonorrhea. Even when you were back. playing that old <laughs> video of him yesterday, Flo, he looked way better than he does now. Yeah, that's living in your car. Yeah, living in your car drinking piss is a hard life. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, Mitch looks awesome. Oh, I thought we he were talking about car, so it's not it's probably not Me the too. Car, probably breaking the piss. Mm. Uh mindful, this might be the time for your um what was it called again? Unpurposeful water or something? My my intentional, intentional water. water. Intentional oh, water. Okay. Intentional. That just sounds dirty. I don't it know does. if it's the time for that. <laughs> Okay. okay, maybe when you're ready, you know, I'm gonna just get shut down if I try to bring it up. So let's just let's keep. I it mean, going. all right, all right. <laughs> it's sort of like when Scott wants to talk about tragic things from his past, or like when Dave wants to talk about the Mandela effect. Like, just, there's just some conversations. Like, oh my god! All right, tell us about tell us about the fucking intentional water. <laughs> this is your like chance. Flow state where I pee on you. Keep it down water. to three senses or less. She just can't do that. She's never been able to do that. You're making it worse, Lindsay. The ADD like, people here. I you all are so fucking all. mean. You guys Scott, are we're the worst. <laughs> you hi. They she are. Knows thanks. She knows I'm kidding with her. Just, just Scott, Scott, Go you've on, already won the Victor Olympics on the panel. Hey, shut your face. Yeah. Shut she that pile. Sarah. She's singing because she is the most aggravating person intentionally. <laughs> She's the most outgoing. Gotta love it. Back, no, I'm that's pretty not outgoing. <laughs> yeah, Cynthia, Cynthia, Cynthia could. I bet Cynthia can be the most outgoing. If what? I'm shy and yeah. introverted. Yeah. If what you, you have a about? reason to be outgoing, yeah. I guarantee you will be the most friendliest motherfucker. <laughs> Today I struck I'm, up a I'm whole just a little too autistic for it. Like I have this. I have. Weird... Yeah, I have trouble faking like friendliness for too long. It's just. It's just a lot of effort. But you can be outgoing and unfriendly. You know, I'm not that much of a yeah. like, I'm not yeah. like going against you in some weird way. So Who's you against know me? that about me. So you're like, oh, you're kind of okay. You're kind of like a little sister. I didn't hear the beginning of when you, I didn't hear when you started talking. So I'm not sure. Where uh, I'm at. But I do uh, think that when you start singing, you do it intentionally <laughs> to just sort of like lodge yourself underneath feel, people's I'm skin. Calm down. Like, I'm still upset. We I am not ever calm. You will never calm me down more by telling me to calm down. Oh, That's God. and you know that, of course. Hey, listen, okay. Taylor. I want to. Uncle Patty, yeah. give her the give her the suspicious look. Yay. That look you just gave made over your drink. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I tried. I tried. <laughs> trying to get you to talk. Me? 
I saw I saw a Bigfoot Sarah. on my drive home tonight. Sarah, did you really? Sasquatch. I'm not even joking you. It took me a while. It took several years to realize I had an experience, but it fucking did. Suck my dick. So you, I think you feel picked on, Sarah, when we all joke around and do this to each other. We're all really rude. Not that it's okay, but it's kind of like a, a camaraderie. Lizzie, let her toughen up or not. She'll make look it. How he, great. Look at how he controls it. Pretty tough, motherfucker. Oh. It's not about getting yeah. tough. Yeah, you know I held like a high profile job, so I'm not like totally in that. McDonald's is not high profile. <laughs> Quick control. Yeah, it, slow. Down. it doesn't mean it's legit. I'm just saying. This is my panel, down. Lindsay. Well, I guess that is high profile. You were in the public. <laughs> you stopped trying to control it. <laughs> control issue. <laughs> you know, I well, feel like can I, I feel like I'm in. For oh, one excuse second. me. Yeah, go ahead. Talk over everybody. Actually, so Hank's in charge right like, now. I'm going to uh -oh. come with some woo-woo shit, but it's also going to kind of feel good. It's going to kind of smooth you over. You're going to be like, wait a second. I feel like my fascia is releasing right now. What's she happening? Woo -woo. Somebody pump my lymph nodes. <laughs> good night. <laughs> Somebody pump my lymph nodes. Is that what I just heard? Yeah. <laughs> You see that sweat that coming off of his face? Goofy. That means he's expressing Based. himself. Let it go, brother. Fucking let it go. Salute Stephen yeah. David. He says, cheers, chat, panel. Have a great night. You too. I mean, hey. Thank you, brothers and sisters. Brought to you by Hank. Dick so crazy. as, as the black panel Dick boss, crazy. what's your first, uh, what do you do? Take it away. Okay, but let's go to that intentional water. I expected more out of a evil, diabolical psychopath like yourself. Aren't you some kind of a witch? Bring it, motherfucker. I'm back on. Bring it. Pull up bring, it bring it, Hank. I'll bring it. What are we, where are we going, Hank? Bring it. We're going to talk about water. that intentional water it. now. Hold on. That flow state is There's several studies. Tell them all to make orgasm noises and make them convincing. <laughs> Yay, that was good. Thank you. No, let's talk about the test of water. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Your diabolicalness is going to have to come into into face to face play at some point. You can't just be by diabolical behind the scenes all the time. Who's I'm giggling? Is that? Is that like a couple of days ago. Sarah, who do you I'm say? Sarah. <laughs> it's been a long time. Let's just... Hank, take control, please. Done. Tell us all to shut up so we can hear Done. her. Wait, I'm back on. What the fuck? Um, Seems to be working already. <laughs> okay, oh, Lindsay, on, Lindsay will you take control hold of Hank so that he controls run. the panel? No, no Lindsay hold was on. Lindsay was on the right path. She was going the right direction. And then I got you. You worked me up into a frenzy. I got to release that Kundalini. Don't know why this keep keeps on happening on flows. So you all better control yourself. Thank you very Spill fucking much. Spill Waxing gibbous. This is what I was trying to explain to Tarek earlier when Sir Lancelot was crying in the fucking chat because he doesn't have any maidens to save. Oops. We're all waiting for you to fucking turn off your fucking sports channels and <laughs> turn down your chatch collars, Flo. My what? <laughs> your chatch collars. I don't know what a chatch collar is. You remember your polar? That's what I said. Did you pop your collars? Oh, my. <laughs> Look. I'm teasing. Thank you for letting me have this moment. Because I know I pissed you off the other night. So thank you. You didn't piss. I wasn't pissed at you. I've never been mad at you. Uh, just frustrated as fuck with you. Those are very <laughs> different things. I don't know. Cynthia hasn't. Fatty what? hasn't. Um, <laughs> everybody else on this panel has frustrated the sweet Jesus out of me at one time. I don't oh, think Hank really has either. But the rest of you, and like the bottom you of you fuckers, have all frustrated the shit out of me at some point. <laughs> I appreciate that, actually. Even though... I oh, I have. I have. 
it's just hey, Patty, all these other fuckers oh, have done yeah, it so Patty much has, more. Patty that, has for sure frustrated the shit out of me. Oh, I get, I get lost oh, in, in all your guys' shit, though. I love it. I love it. I'm, I just, I'm just a little turd in, in your guys' turd bowl. So, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, you're, you're, yeah. It's when perfect. you turd, though, it's a, it's a very, you have a very um, subtle but disruptive way of turding. Oh yeah, 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 for sure. <laughs> it's like, it's like hot and cold. Speaking of subtle, very you masterfully know, executed. Notice the subtle way that you're controlling her speech. That's Stop very good. Stop controlling me. Stop controlling Wait, me. me. You're no. controlling her. Me. Who? Call me you. out. She sings songs randomly. She wants to tell us about purposeful water. Intentional <laughs> water. No, Whatever. No, 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 no. I appreciate it. Like, Fucking spill. I need, be, I need to be aware of my own indiscretion. So, like, am I... Too late. <laughs> okay, it is in the back chat, by the way, Flo. If you can pull it up, I did pull up that link, and I appreciate it. I'm just saying, like, I like this kind of uh, conversation. Like, call me out on my indiscretions. Call me out on my faults. This Let is me... getting sexual. Can you just like get to the to the point? Well, am I not I'm right kidding. here now? I'm kidding. Uh, okay. <laughs> Oh, come on. Oh, she's trying to get to the point because somebody has to insult her more. <laughs> okay, See? I'm muted. I'm muted. No, 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 no. I appreciate no. that. I appreciate no, the humor. No, Lindsay, you, you she'll, oh, she'll get no. to the, she'll, it'll be a lot easier for her to get there once you've insulted her and berated her some more. No, no, no. Can we talk about there's some small truth to that? Like when I know we there's, actually that's hold each other accountable, <laughs> we actually strengthen each other, we empower each other, and we actually like cause me to go oh wait 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 i have this article i already have this i've already pulled this up so okay this is, i'm gonna take this and i'm gonna raise good job you. hank yeah hank i'm gonna raise you what are you what are you putting down on the table you gonna you going all that you going all in i'm not sure what game we're playing yeah i, I didn't either i don't have <laughs> cards am i supposed the game to have is we defend yeah, article, please. sarah i have colors we're waiting for you to tell us about magic water, and you just threw us a screen water. share and then bragged about it. You did an end zone dance because you screen shared them. Haha. <laughs> 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 okay. So this is uh one article. This is like I can pull up several. So um there was a study done with Buddhist monks, and this is intentional water. So you probably have heard of uh Emoto Masuri. He did the in uh, initial some of the initial intentional water studies where he did prayer over water. He actually had uh, studies done with the Fukushima polluted water and showed the after and before effects of prayer. Very simple. Uh, so I talk about this a lot because we're so obsessed with what we're consuming right now and the ability to actually manipulate molecular structure. Uh, so I talk about biofield, I talk about zero point field, and you've heard me say zero point is actually in quantum physics, the example of electromagnetic field over every single molecule and atom. So it intentional water was done life. with Buddhist monks where they prayed over the water and they changed polluted water into beautiful live water. So it's holy water. It's the same thing. Exactly, sir. Exactly. Exactly. Unholy water. So this is baby truth or stuff. <laughs> but what's so good? Like, give us more or deeper. So you <laughs> can actually do this um, experiment yourself. You can do this experiment yourself. And this have you done it? Problem. Yes. And? Story. Yes, the uh, cooked rice experiment. It's very simple. So you cook rice like I would, you know, probably a four cups amount. And you're going to do a neutral jar, a negative jar, and a positive jar. And you're going to actually speak to them as so and leave your neutral jar to the side. And What if your uh, water is masochistic? Days, 30 days, take a picture. Sorry, my voice. <laughs> <laughs> like this is sort of wintry, and I don't know if I'm British or I'm not. I'm trying to figure that out, even though I'm very Midwestern. Um, so you're gonna go over 30 days and examine each jar. Who's and your who's moving positive jar will have fermented. Hey, it will actually be hot. living longer. Your negative jar will have molded and be procuring some um, water molds. Oh, yes. rice, rice. And then your neutral jar will have 
uh, develop the oxygen. Piss piss over this, will it become holy piss? Exactly, yes. holy piss. Uh, what is guys? What is a philosopher's stone? This is why O'Shea has some re reverence, even though he's a little obsessed. But Wait. the philosopher's stone is petrified fucking piss. So look into that weird. Okay. Okay. How long does it take to get petrified? Why is that the sorcerer's stone? What a the fuck is time. petrified yeah, pee? A long fucking time. Alchemy. Look into the history of alchemy and what they used to do with that. Resto Chester asks a good question. What if he nuts in the in the water? What if I make love? What if uh, he has fuck you? No, see why? Why is cooking with love so important? You're, you're, you're literally you putting that. your heart and soul into the food, and you are giving it to others. Your you're heart and soul is the food in Hank's kitchen. So hey, you if make you love to the water, drink. anybody who gets in that water is fucking they're they're impregnated with your seed of love. love. But if they accidentally wash their hair with that water and you that get that shit in their hair, it. then you're in trouble. So, if you drink your urine with an infection, like let's say you have a urinary urinary tract <laughs> infection and you drink your urine, is that good, Sarah, or not? Probably not. Um, but also, I want you to keep this in mind. This was why did you I say probably in, into the medical field? Your urine is the uh, most sanitary fluid that comes out of your entire body. Thank that will so never matter to me, even if that's hundred percent. Never drink matter to me. Both. That includes that includes your vaginal fluid. That includes your fucking <laughs> your what? lactic fluid. I'm trying to explain to you, like you have no idea how actually viable. And I'm not telling you to put your piss into a jar and drink it in an aged influence, like O'Shea says, because that's not the ultimate answer. Do you also, ferment your piss? No, I don't. And also, you just drink it straight from the tap. Hey, hey, listen to me. You, you know, this is how many people you tell your, you to, to cleanse don't yourself. You give your, uh, don't you give your don't you swallow when you when you give your uh, boyfriend a BJ? Do you swallow? Um, I have, when he, yeah. she does what? What was that? What was that, Rocky? I don't, Only I if don't he pees. Swallow. It doesn't taste bad. I don't. Rocky, that was not a very problem. Christian question. Do you actually know there's studies yeah. that if Christian you swallow doesn't. that, it actually is healthy you know. for you? Only in the butt if you're Mormon, though. That's Mormon. No, have you looked into the studies? If you swallow semen, it's actually good for a woman. I, I, I haven't looked into those studies, but I'm, I wish I had known they were out there. Like you know. Yeah, because it would have been a great ploy, and guess what? It worked for one guy who dated. So he well, suck my that's dick. That's funny. I never. I, yeah. I don't, <laughs> I don't think there's a lot of girls who are like run around just like so concerned about their health that they're looking for any old dick to get vitamins out of. I'm not. No, that wasn't the case. But I was like, "Oh, interesting." I think I already he's subservient, so I guess I will. No, that's, <laughs> that's different. How I, that's how I was. <laughs> not so much anymore. But yeah, don't. Anyway, so anymore. <laughs> there's a lot. I feel of like you're really setting yourself up. Go ahead. <laughs> so, should you drink <laughs> other people's <laughs> urine or just your own? Neither. So, Sometimes oh, I can't okay. believe the panels I run. <laughs> like, no, seriously, I like to there is conversation the and I'm answers. going, what this is my fucking channel, and this is yeah, insane. Word, thank you, Flo. <laughs> like, if I just stopped like, in my channel right now, I would not stay. <laughs> you know how sometimes went, we're like we're from, uh, and we have went to drink from each other's shit talk, blood. Went from shitty oh, talk. Like, dude, to did people do they oh, drink each other's urine? Hello. Then like, women bringing up shit talk, and then they bring up piss talk yeah okay thank you rocky so you know mm -hmm. how like when people who are vampires they're like hey you bring drink my blood, blood, hole, I'll drink your blood. Bring do you think they do that with wait. urine too sarah wait sorry cynthia what you know how sometimes people are like i'm a vampire you're a vampire we have to drink each other's blood like do you no. think people who drink like do people no. who drink each other's urine do they drink each uh, uh, other yeah. people's urine or just their own I'm sure it goes to that level because it's like one extreme to the next. Uh, is kind of how it feels. Is but there a dark no, world I black think, market? I don't know what that whole fetish is, right? The whole like squirting and pee there is and a black market for a meth like, You know what they are? No, uh, there is a market for pee. There is you said the only fluid that comes out of people, the good fluid is piss. What about milk? What about the milk from the titty? 
Huh? Makes Isn't good. good? Have you ever had human cheese? That's just pretty good. No, I haven't had it, but I think right. the best the best fluid that comes out of a person is uh, milk. mama's the milk. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I so this piss shit is bull crap. I, well, I, I just don't I understand it. I just don't. I just like I've never thought that to myself. Well, Man, you know, there is a cure for athlete's foot if you piss on your feet. That's a cure for okay. athlete's foot. And then there is a doctor in Houston, Doctor Burkinski. He does something to piss. He he does. How like, do you know this shit too off the top of your head? I study. I feel like we've been infiltrated by cure. like lurking. There's a cancer, there's a cancer the cure in Houston. You find these people. The water in Houston? <laughs> Remember, is no, the water? there's a guy in Houston. He's a doctor. He's got a cure for cancer, and the and the um, it was uh, is it water <laughs> like re doing something to like doing something to piss, and it cures cancer. But it's not just he does refines it or does something. And he was uh, under, and uh, some oh, people oh, testified oh, against the Congress. They tried to shut him down. And they, they had, uh, it's yep. just, you know, I so researched cures for cancer and this was one of them, but it's not drinking your own piss. It's something else. He does Correct. something actually, to it. No, there is that. It is aged piss. It's not immediate. You have to like, supposedly I'm not, I haven't performed this, but I do research really weird alternative health. Uh, especially but do you ever doctors. step back and look at the big, look at it objectively? Like what no, is this, this complete yeah, bullshit? How stupid. Yep, yep, yep. There's way more options. You're not selective to drinking your yeah, own. Yeah, there's a lot of options. But there's if a lot you of fucking are in that situation and, and that's what works, yeah. fucking go for it. But I, I'm not, what am I going to tell you, Flo? What, what is my main objective and what I talk about? Emotions equals... I don't know. Disease, disease equals emotions <laughs> and trauma. So I'm going to over and over again and this comes from my experience i worked with ventilator patients i worked with very very i worked with schizophrenia this is why you like constantly are wondering why it's been a lifelong life challenge for you huh yeah <laughs> anyway, thank you Sorry. got a job that's amazing 50 to 50 percent of people that are schizophrenic have a parasite called I, you know what i'm going to tell you what it's connected to your fucking brain activity it's beyond parasites Parasites is a distraction. I'm sorry, but it is because you have then you have to get no. the whole good and bad bacteria. Sorry, but I actually I had my ex, sorry, eight years, C diff. He had it two years after he cut his leg open. We were big rock hounds. We were on the John Day River and he cut it open on a fence post. And uh C diff, two years. I was supposed to contract it easily. They could not beat it with all antibiotics. I went at him with all pre and probiotics and fermentation in his gut, and I got rid of it within a month. What did you get rid you of? Not tell I me. Got this. You know your shit when I do actually know what I'm fucking talking about, especially when it comes to our gut. And our gut is our second brain, if we're not our third brain, because our heart, sorry, is our second brain. Sorry, I'm getting cocky. No, really? Yeah. I didn't no know that. No <laughs> think so, yeah, but seriously, I do know what I'm talking about. And I don't mean to be an asshole. That's also what somebody would say if they didn't know what they were talking about. I just want to point that out. Yeah. But go on. I'm not I'm back not back saying you don't know what you're point point talking point about. Point I'm just saying when you background. when you Cynthia, come with ahead, what? I want to hear what sorry, Cynthia, what? Rocky, when you did you have cancer or does somebody close to you have cancer? My dog has cancer. Okay. Were you looking up this for his, your diary? No, I look it up for other people. Toxiplasmosis. <laughs> There's a, there was this lady who was schizophrenic. Yeah. I told her to get off the drugs. And uh -huh. <laughs> Go ahead. Go ahead. Very Rocky. helpful. These people have never considered that option. Most people have never considered that that's even a possibility. Go so ahead. 50% of the people that have schizophrenia have a worm in their brain that causes schizophrenia. It's research toxiplasmosis. Where in the fuck do you find these people? Ah. I actually, I and love then, that topic. And then, yeah, you can, uh, enemas are good for cleaning the gut out, like yeah. a colon. Oh, yeah. And colonoscopies 
or colon. The yeah, colon. actually, are great. <laughs> and <laughs> believe it or not, I was just oh, yeah. reading an article today about a woman who had straight stage three a colon cancer, and uh, her only sign was abdominal pain, and she only had it for a week, and that's when she went to the doctor, and that's when it realized it was stage three colon cancer. Like we only had cancer. They're kind of shocked how colon cancer is like. Some of us no, she she only had that pain for one week, and when but she went to the plan. doctor and got it tested, it was stage three colon cancer, and that's what they're saying. They're saying that there was no other signs. There was no blood in the urine. There was no urinary tract infections. There were none of those things. You know and what they're saying I would ask was her the well, content of her poop. What her poop consists? Well, of. I, 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 she's not my friend. Blood. It's an article I read. That's no, what I'm, I'm not. Saying. I know, but that's what I'm saying. Like that's what actually is overlooked often. Right, people don't know what to look for, and but yeah. they're saying she didn't have any abnormal signs, and they're just like it's happening it's to the that. younger people. I mm -hmm. heard, and I don't mean I'm not trying to intrude. Okay, so if you don't like, I'm really not being rude by this. I know that we all come from different parts of this fucking metaverse. I'm really when I come into all of this, uh -huh. I might be strong. Uh -huh. but I'm not being an asshole. <laughs> okay, asshole, okay? Uh -huh. sure. my question to you is: I I thought I heard something about a tumor. Situation. Yeah, uh -huh. I'm good at that. Okay, because part of this comes from my own experience, especially from being in the medical field. But um, what I'm saying is that I actually a lot of my research, and I said something to Flo the other night, and I, I think you might know this terminology because of uh, Sarah from Mindfuck. <coughs> She's talked about this is NLP, which is neuro linguistic programming, and specifically with tumors, which is somewhat interesting. But I do uh -huh. have like in, in clips from uh, legit studies that were done where people did resolve their tumors through NLP. Now it did in my personal situation or from my reading, you know, it was very <clears throat> pertinent to the situation. I don't know, obviously your life history. I'm not trying to ask that, but I'm just right. saying that this is very, I think really good, deep information. And part of this comes from Cynthia. I had patients over two handfuls that told me they were going to a clinic in Mexico with uh -huh. with stage four cancer, or it was somebody immediately uh, next to them, like a mm -hmm. family member who had stage four cancer, mm -hmm. a clinic in Mexico that did an IV of vitamin C for two weeks. And part of it was a, an, I, excuse me. An this is not diet. medical advice. It's just Sarah being insane. Yes. Uh, yes. It's just, this so is, is not medical advice. Is, like, is there a question? I'm confused right now. What? Sorry, Did what? you have a question or something? I think she's telling you how to cure the tumor. That no, she... I'm asking the you. The cancer that was cured in 28 days. I'm, I'm, I'm surprised. I was shocked. And my whole life I've been into alternative health. So when I heard this from my patients over and over again, and then all this other, I mean, I could go into the different methods that a lot of them have used. But I'm just wondering if you've ever <laughs> run into anybody who, or maybe even group prayer. Because that's actually something I'm very fascinated with. And I'm well, not necessarily um, a super spiritual person like you, but I yeah. I have mad respect for that. And I do. No, um, um, when I found out, I mean, I was in church. Listen, I found out, like I was at work and they told me I had one hour to get to the hospital. And then I went to the hospital and then it, it was crazy. And I found out, um, I guess at the beginning of <laughs> November and um, by... December 1st, I was already getting prepared to do everything. And then I went to the hospital and I had the surgery done. I think it was like on December 21st or 2nd. I still have the picture. And I was out on the 24th and that was it. Like everything was fine after that. Like, so I say I, ha I had the tumors and it was stage four cancer. Like technically it was, but that was it. Six weeks. That's all it was. And, 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 and then I had surgery like just took it out and I, I had everything that, and, right? and I had to go back for seven years. I had to go back for three, every three months for the first two years. And yeah. then every six months and everything was fine. And, but I, I had my Bible study that was constantly praying for me. I was constantly right. in prayer for church. Like I never, they were like, you know, you might have to go through chemo. They were shocked and never had to go through chemo. Yeah. They were saying, listen, yep. this type of cancer comes back rapidly I was like, all right, well, we'll just deal with it when it comes back. It never came back. Um, I thought I was going to have to get a new doctor, but we had developed such a cool relationship. He went on and stayed my lady doctor. 
So he's no longer my cancer doctor, but he's technically that guy. But man, he made, he moves smooth. <laughs> yeah. I swear he's Dooger, Doogie Hauser, MD. I've seen him grow up because I've been but going with him. <laughs> that was my doc. My but yeah, I, but, I mean, I did surgeries and at sixteen and seventeen, and he was like Doogie Hauser for. Uh, he actually was the surgeon for the uh, Milwaukee Brewers. Mm-hmm. And you talk about like same thing. Like he get, he gave me so much gusto. It was awesome. So that's anyway. But, go ahead. Sorry. Like, this is but like story. you were saying about the um, Tarek. I'm definitely not playing with you, boy. You better <laughs> get your ass down somewhere. We're Tarek, having real I love talk. you. We're not yeah. having baby talk right now. Um, like vibe to the side. Let's go. Yeah. Tarek Tarek. Baby talk. Tarek's is just a. He's just a child. He's a child that needs attention. Derek, you obviously want to be here attracting attention. I don't give a fuck if I disappointed no, you, Tarek. You're a piece of shit. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, I want to hear more, yeah. hear more like we, aftermath. Like you kept, you kept the good spirit. You had this prayer group, and, and oh so yeah, far, and so you, you and people know. like the Tarek, most. Tarek, if you don't want to get timed out, cash or uh, PayPal up two dollars with a quickness because I'm just about done with you unless you're willing to bribe your way into staying here. I don't know why anyone would waste so much time. Like two dollars shouldn't be shit compared to the amount of time that he wastes here doing this shit. But go ahead, tell us about your kidney stones or whatever. <laughs> no, but before that, um, Sarah, I had never been to the doctor. I prided myself. I don't need to go to the doctor. I drink water. If I get sick, I just drink some orange juice and take a nap. I never. I think it was like twelve years before I'd been to a doctor. And then when all of that happened. That really changed my uh, thoughts and views and opinions on going to get, you know, see, mm-hmm. staying on top of your medical care and yep. checking your blood work. And because I am so on top of it now, I've managed to catch diabetes before it came down the pipeline. And I've managed to catch, uh, they were saying my cholesterol was looking like it was going to get high. And everything I'm Neither able to just switch around. Problem, right. Hmm? Hmm? N- sorry. Neither of those ended up being a problem. Mm-mm. Yeah. Because I, my doctors know I don't like to take medicine, so they'll, like, if I, for the diabetes, they sent me to a nutritionist who taught me how to prep food and how to make better meals and stuff. So it is changing all of that thing, but I had to get scared. Like, it really had to affect me before I took it serious. Yeah. I mean, you're, obviously, you know that you're not alone. That, that right. Happens. But um, but in our Latin culture, is like it's just you don't go to see doctors. Latin people just it's just not in our culture to go see to the medical hey, field. Hey, is this part of your chaos? Balance and sorry, Cynthia. Hey, actually, uh, my aunt in law is from uh, Colombia, and so um, I went to Costa Rica with her at age sixteen, and she took me in the back hills. We had a friend with us, and she ended up getting sick, and she was sick for three days. And we were stuck up uh, in this situation where we were borderline wondering if we were going to take her to the hospital, actually. Mm -hmm. And uh, so it's kind of a long story because of where we were. But, you know, we're again, we're up in the hills of San Juan, San Juan, Costa Rica. Mm -hmm. So, middle, you know what I'm talking about, like middle of nowhere. There's no connection. This is also like 2001. So she's at been sick to her stomach for three days and they're like we're taking you to the witch doctor down the road i'm like i'm i'm by the way I, at this point i am about six foot not quite six foot one but i'm about six foot tall so i'm this huge <laughs> this giant white woman um, okay anyway so we go to this house i'm i'm also culture mesmerized okay because I, I do come from a uh, little farm town wisconsin mm-hmm. and i've never seen an environment like this so um, anyway, this woman proceeds to do a massage on my friend yeah. and mm-hmm. it takes about 20 minutes. And mm-hmm. this massage, now that I understand because of where I'm going with my degree or my uh, independent practitioner is it was a lymph massage. So she proceeded with opening up the nodes. Right. And then she did mm-hmm. this upward notion on every single part of the body, the legs, the arms, the stomach, right into the nodes. This woman, 20, 20 minutes, she's like, I'm going to throw up. I'm going to throw up. We took her, of course, again, culture shock for me. Okay. But it's a hole in the, in the floor, in a, in a house, in a shack. You mm-hmm. know, I'm trying to like, I'm 
this woman cured her. She threw up and she was cured within 20 minutes. 100% after three days of uncontrollable illness, like throwing up uncontrollably, uh, you know, could not really work around. Like it was flu like symptoms, some sort of like infection almost by a lymph massage. So I talk about this a lot because of the trauma thing now that I've learned about trauma release and fascia release, release, which connects with lymph release. So when you start to get into the inner, right, those inner nodules of the muscle, this is where God has given us that power. He's given us that ability to heal ourselves. And some of it is literally by touching our own bodies. And this actually goes like, you have great skin, Cynthia. You have great facial features. I, I know you're older than me because I think mm -hmm. we've talked about this. I'm, I'm going to be 39. I use aloe and rice water. Ooh. That's all I use. That's all Ooh. I use. That's good. Yeah. Did you see my short earlier? Oh, by the way, rice yeah. water. Yeah. They told yeah, me to yeah, stop wearing sunscreen because I'm getting a sorry. vitamin D deficiency. I'm sorry. Yeah. So. Yep. Did sorry, you see my short earlier where, where uh, OTW got some aloe too? <laughs> oh, I saw that. Aloe is amazing. It's two no, of my it's real. Aloe, big time. Massage therapist. M my, two of my children mm -hmm. are massage therapists, and there's a uh, the American Medical Association had a war against a uh, massage therapist as uh, yeah. not being medical good for you, but but it does help. He gave me a mas my son gave me a massage, and it really helped me a lot. A lot of shit goes away. There's They're even people it that have, uh, for this. like if, yeah. if you got a cold and you're, uh, it's been known that if like a woman would rub a man's feet, it really yeah. helps save lives before. You if you rub a man's feet and he's almost dead, you can you can you almost can rub bring eucalyptus up. and peppermint mm -hmm. and some sage on a. Uh, with oil, like a, uh, they call it a carrier oil, like a Jehovah. <laughs> yeah. So my son a chiropractic. on the bottom of the feet, right? And expresses it through your feet. So I actually made yeah. this for my friends and through my coworkers. And their son said that they would not go to sleep unless I, they rubbed this oil. And it was like a, a good night blend. It had uh, frankincense, bergamot, and lavender, which are very relaxing scents. And it absorbs through your feet. So there's a whole acupressure through your feet. The fact that you're saying this. And chiropractors. Your liver, your working. kidneys, your lungs, your heart, through your yeah. feet. Yeah. One of the ladies from my Bible study, she brought me frankincense when I was in the hospital. Right. right? And you know this, from right? From the bio, the frankincense and myrrh is no joke, especially. Mm -hmm. if she was telling me to put it under my tongue. Yep. Lavender yeah, and right, it was diluted right with another oil. It wasn't mm -hmm. pure frankincense. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's important. Just FYI. My, my oil, son works lavender, a chiropractor. My son is a massage therapist. Works at a chiropractor service, and I think the two of them together are really beneficial for some people. Yeah. Um. Actually, that's the new mo. Is they're now having license because they know actually how to move. again. This is a talk about the fascia, so they know how to move. That it's a it's a, a layer that folds over the muscle, and it is based on trauma, and it connects to the bone. So the idea is that you're actually releasing the muscle from the bone, so you're allowing for better movement, so you're allowing for alignment. And yeah, my feet were really hurt. Like, I didn't want to get massaged by my own son, but I did. And it really helped my feet. Uh, my parents are <laughs> it, no, don't get yeah, me wrong. It's, he's professional. Yeah. You know, you got to have yep. muscles to do that shit. And uh, I'm six foot one. So my hands are built. Unfortunately, you can all call me an ogre, but my hands are built for massage. I'm built all, I, for all I can anybody. think about is, you know, you know, that uh, what's that sublime song? Got that Kung Fu grip. Never mind. Um, a little bit. Um, Here, I'll show um, you this. Um, you know, the I'm, I'm ending the stream in like 15 minutes. Uh, unless it, 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 we get it. It. And they want to break like, open to that, but I'm not. I'm not. Okay. So uh, I bought. I got some CBD cream. Big ass. Lotion. 
this is amazing stuff. I've never used this before. What is it? Oh, yeah. The CBD uh, moisturizing uh, body cream. When you Do say you... BD, all I can think of is um, <laughs> venereal. No, CBD. CBD. Oh, CB yes, 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 yes. Sorry. Yes, I love yes, this. Sorry. Actually, I'm big on that because we do have cannabinoid centers in our body, in our brains. Sorry, in our brains, I should say. So we do actually connect. So dogs also uh, highly connect to that. And I've done a lot with senior animals. I'm big. Good I, shit. I house it, but I actually, it's dog sitting and it's for senior dogs. So one of them is a 16 year old lab, mm. and I had an 18 year old year old retired sled dog i use cbd i did a massage technique and i'll show you it's called acupressure and just by taking your fingers and running it from the base of the tailbone up the all the way up the spine and you'll even notice when somebody's stiff because you actually won't be able to feel part of their spine the more and more you ride up it the more you'll actually feel it kind of pop out and you'll just watch their face when you do it it's like ah See, I bought my dog CBD gummies because she was oh. really hyper and it made her horny. She just humped her. <laughs> what kind of dog do you have? Because really? a little Chihuahua Maltese. Mm, yep. So um, some dogs, yeah. it's actually, it actually engages, not anxiety necessarily. <laughs> some cases yeah. it does. Yeah. Um, so I would I would recommend for joint pain in that dog like an oil that goes in their food or a cream and if anything start with like um a conjointin like some sort of super joint I'm gonna combine um uh, fucking up the names right now you guys know what I'm talking about like um glucosamine uh, yes glucosamine torsin and uh. There's, but there's so many good, like if you actually look up the super joint blend, that's what I'm going to yeah. highly remember. I had an 18 year old retired sled dog. You're talking wow. about, I ran this dog on the beaches. I have beautiful photographs of this dog. I'll pull one up. And I wow. ran her. She did not show signs until the last month of her life. Cause she actually had an injury and I couldn't get it recovered. And I tried our actually RSO, which is Rick Simpson oil. So you're talking about hard coil, hard coil, <laughs> hardcore mm -hmm. uh, CBD THC oil mm -hmm. and she showed signs of uh, shutting down. And then when they actually put her to sleep, it took seconds. So it was a direct sign that it was time for her to go, but she was over 18 years old. So I stand by that. All my animals have been over 18 years old when they passed. My, uh, my pit made it to 13 years and they told me that was good, good for a big dog. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Like a lab, some, like this lab, that's 16 year old. Mm -hmm. I'm like, what the right? Yeah. It it definitely depends on the breed. So, sorry. Thank you for letting me uh, spurg. By the way, I appreciate it, Flo. Considering that I was very annoying the other night. Oh no, it's cool. Oh, I'm tired oh. of shit anyway, so I'm kind of I'm I'm like mostly checked out. Go. Yeah. Sometimes you do let me go, so I appreciate that. Thank you. I sent it up, uh, Flo. Okay. I think Eric wants to come up. I mean, I'm not so You're checked really out that I can't operate the buttons. <laughs> maybe <laughs> maybe I'll go on the panel and talk to all the fake people and they are already wow. Terry, you're a dumbass. Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, he's he's not banned from the panel. He just uh, doesn't have any credibility or you know benefit of the doubt. And he's not gonna be spared. I didn't lie to you. I asked a question, Tarek. Is there <laughs> any I'm, room I'm for redemption though, Cynthia? No. Mr. Pie is crying for help and the me. ladies are ignoring him. Mr. Pie. Mr. Pie makes me feel like a cougar because I know he has to be like 10 years younger than me. Do you guys no, remember exactly older than you and you're you, but you are probably being predatory in your mindset towards him. <laughs> no, I'm not in status. I'm not in status. Was it, was it episode five or episode six of season three, it's Dawson's great. Creek? <laughs> they were going over this exact same subject. <laughs> hey, Thank Uncle you. Fatty, did you ever watch Don't Touch, Don't Trust the Bitch in Apartment 23? No, it doesn't sound familiar, but I have lived that story personally. But it, Dawson from da Dawson was book? on it and he played. Like he couldn't oh. believe he still wasn't famous. That was his whole actor. He was their next door neighbor. 
and he was always Ooh. still trying to do his Dawson Creek. They're like, all right, like <laughs> it's over. <laughs> like, like that's like we got to like, do dude, this it's your now. prime time. Oh, yeah. man. <laughs> it's, it's a funny, <laughs> funny show. I loved that show. And even like the Dawson's Creek characters would make appearances on there because he'd be like trying to find them. Like, I got an idea for a reunion show, and they're always like, Dawson, <laughs> we've moved on. <laughs> <laughs> like, it was hilarious. Dawson, we're past high school. I'm so we don't break the past, though, somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Are you coming up, Tarek? Yeah, Flo is tired. We're Rocky has now. more mass to go. It's about time for his driving around late night, looking in windows moments. <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> with his mask. How much to beard big Rocky? To what? How much to what? How much to get a? How much to get a beard bag? A beard bag. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the tea bag's kind of played out around here, so. <laughs> yeah, Flo has a corner market on tea bagging. I, mean, I don't know, but the beard bag just sounds hilarious. Thank you. <laughs> uh, it's been a fun night. Appreciate it. You know it. how you were saying that, like, um, Lindsay, when, I mean, not Lindsay, uh, Sarah, when you were saying, yeah. you know, how people who are just angry and stuff, that could be, oh, my gosh, Tarek, I did not bring your daughters into this. Let me explain to you the difference. I asked a question. I said, if you are abusive and controlling and bullying to the women online, do you treat your daughters the exact same way? That is a question. I didn't accuse you. I asked the question. If you don't understand the difference between a question and an accusation, please come up here and I'll explain it to you. This little false narrative that you're running with is pathetic. It's actually more pathetic than you. At this moment, I actually have more respect for Snaps than you because you're pathetic. And I know uh, he knows he can do better than that. Oh, my okay. God. Now I'm going to be learned. I, and, and I'm just going to take another picture of that. Bam. Bada boom. Bada bang. And I'm going to add it to the list of all the other things you've said to me like this. You're such an idiot, idiot. Sorry, guys. Um, what was I even asking y'all? I know I was trying to remember what we were talking about just before that. It's okay. Those implicit ad homes are just oh, people wild like him, like people like him, like the way I just asked the question, but then he turns around and makes it and tries to get aroused. Like he's somebody that feeds off of darkness, like he's like an energy vamp or something. Like he needs that darkness. So when you say cancer, like Tarek is the exact type of person you want to stay away from if you're trying to live a happy lifestyle or a healthy lifestyle. Because he's tell you what's even better, what's even hotter, Cynthia, is controlling your own boundaries so that whatever he is emitting, you immediately yeah. can sense and okay. deflect. And as soon as you harness that and you and you're close, because I felt it from you, you already do mm -hmm. this. Mm -hmm. I tied him out for 24 hours. Let me finish this real quick. <laughs> I tied him out for 24 hours. No. Nick and I have had our own conversations on this, and he continues despite my advice at times. And I'm not trying to ridicule you. He's okay, lost. What? And this it goes for you too. It's like use that energy, and I know, and I haven't seen all your your stuff, but I know you do mm -hmm. good video editing. I know you have some skills on that platform, is what I've been hearing. Mm -hmm. And I want to see you take that and turn this into some skit. Girl, turn this into I'm going to slap that. Mm -hmm. Give me, yeah. <laughs> give me some fucking breakdown on human behavior that sort of recognizes whatever the fuck this play game is. And the same goes for you, Tarek, which I've told you. Plus, Tarek, at this point, and I'm due for it too. Can we go spend a week out in the woods? Like, seriously, we need to go. Like, disconnect completely. Completely. Mm -hmm. I don't know which one of you I should warn about the other one of you. I'm gonna. I'm gonna yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I, 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 I don't know, I, I, and I don't then know when. Oh, you well, little piece of shit! How you dare have, you come up and tell me there's first. a report? Sarah, he said that there's a report first. about me, Sarah. He said that there's a report about me, and then he had the audacity to throw a little curse on me. I hope you sleep well tonight. Well, and real quick. 
and I don't like Cynthia. I'm not trying to be rude, but like, yeah. there's so much. Oh my God, there's so much bullshit. What report, Tarek? And how the fuck does that matter? This is snafu shit. When I'm like, Dude, okay, let me know when you're all you done. The you're all fake Christians. All of you are fake Christians. Okay, you are all fake now. So let me know when I can speak. You are all fake now. So let me know when I can speak. Artificial Muslim. You're a piece of shit. Okay, no problem. Let me know when I can speak so I can destroy all of you. You're not allowed to speak. Guys, read that. Well, I mean, if you want me to explain myself to you, I will have to speak, right? I just want you to come up here so I can. Cuss you out. I mean, <laughs> if Law State wants to have this interaction, it wants to be exposed Cynthia for her lies. I would have to speak, what lie, right? Eric, what lie? Right. I actually oh, want. I actually plan on shutting it down in three minutes. Still, oh, sorry. I I, I, unless somebody pays to have an extension, I'm tired as fuck. I honestly don't care about the drama that much right at this point. But if it's worth it for people, then I'll leave it open. If, but you gotta pay me. But I'm yeah. Yeah, I was Sorry. trying to pay you, uh, even though, uh, but you blocked me, so I couldn't do it. Hey. But it's all right. I have not hey, blocked hey, you. Hey, Cash App. You want me to drop his Cash App? Here, I'm going to drop I his Cash App. I got five on it. You need to send him a 50. Yeah, yeah, yeah Cynthia. Yeah. Yeah. So, mindful first, before you make any. No, 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 no. Uh, have you sent uh, the money yet? Have you sent the money? Did you see, I'm not having this conversation with you until the money. I haven't money sent, sent any money. So, so you down. paid this shit around hey. here, boy. Hey. Hey. Cynthia, Cynthia. No, no, nope. no, 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 no. Nope. That's, That's your ghetto money. ass. Nope. That's your ghetto ass mentality. I ain't paying for shit. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. I'm going silent. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Are you going to calm down or are you going to be in your feelings? I don't give a fuck about you. I'm gonna you been in your feelings. I'm, gonna you know, you know. I'm not going to let you talk. Well, I'm, I'm not going to talk to you. I'm not going to get ghetto like you. Like you do the women in your real life. Okay, you're not so going to let me explain. Are you going to support me? You're not going to coerce me. Just remember, Cynthia. I'm not your wife. Just remember, you brought my daughters in. Just remember that, right? I'm not your daughter. Remember, you brought my daughters into this, right? And you're a good Christian. You. You are a good Christian, and you brought my daughter. Hold on, Derek. Yeah. Let me don't ever talk to me. Did you understand yeah. what I told, told you about how you there is no nothing of yours is off limits here? <laughs> if you you're in no, charge what? of protecting your you are in charge of protecting your daughters, you're their dad. If you're putting the if you feel like they're in danger because you can't control yourself and you got to run around barking up everybody's ass all the time, that's not Cynthia. That's you. You need to protect I your daughters. All okay. you day. Yeah, and that's, that's, that's the totally your perspective. That's uh, hey, no problem. That's totally your perspective. You and you alone are responsible day. for your own protection. No, no, let me, if you're not going to let me finish, then I ain't doing this. I'll, I won't do this. I'll expose you, all of you, on other channels. All There's of you. Nothing I you got can things on all of you. Don't do worry. whatever fuck you want. I'm in I'll expose seconds. every one of you on I'm other so channels if you're not going to let me talk. I won't do this. We are not worried. So I'm not worried, Derek. Um, oops. Never been worried. And the fact does, that he's trying to question me personally is fucked up. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Bye. Thank, good yep. talking to you, Sarah, Fatty, Rocky, Flo. Yeah, good you too. Yep. Thank you Take it easy. Flo. Thanks for coming up, guys. I mean, Spurg. I appreciate it. Good night. Oh, yeah. You, you Spurg, very nice. Right? Thank you. I appreciate that. It wasn't a bad night. It was more It was. It was really. <laughs> good night. There was a lot, I felt like there was a lot of Spurg released there that was. I was gonna, I was gonna roll it into an orgasm joke, but my brain is too tired for that shit. Rocky, why are you such a Chad? He's just sitting here on camera doing curls. The fuck just happened here? All right, Uncle Fatty, any thoughts? <laughs> what am I looking at here? It's Hold dance on. party time, brother. Okay. Um. Do you have any final thoughts, Uncle Fatty? Yeah, dance party, bro. Thank you for coming up. Rocky, you're the final winner. Thanks for having me. Uh, you guys take care. Peace. I'm out. Yep, have a good night, man. And all you wonderful viewers and the not wonderful ones, I don't know. I'm tired. 
Uncle Fatty, you're still back here with that smirk on your face. What you thinking? You got an email incoming. Huh? You have an email incoming. Oh, I do? Okay. I was just sitting in the back check, but it won't fucking link up, so. Okay, 10 four. I'll check it out after I get out of here. Peace out. Be yep, good. Thanks for coming up, brother. Yeah, man, be good. Mm -hmm. Um. All right, back to the beautiful viewers. Please hit the like any odd number of times. If you haven't done so yet, please hit the share and the copy button to try to push this motherfucker and the algorithms. Don't share. You don't have to share this video to anyone, actually. This is a bit of a shit show. Um, but I, you know, it was to be expected, I suppose, given the, yeah. Um, I'm going to see who's up right now. Do you guys want to be shuttled around any? Let me see. Let me see. Let me see who's up. If you have a, if you have, um, somebody who streams regularly, who you think it would be good to, um, to raid. But we haven't rated them. Uh, let them let them know to turn on the rate option. This is something that creators have to intentionally turn on. On it's set off by default. Um, there's a lot of people who don't have it on. So um, yeah, if you've got people who do streams and you think that they should be rated, remind them to turn on that option. Who's up? Who's up? Who's up? Oh, okay. Bing. I got one for y'alls. 